Sorry, got the way. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is 2021, our very first episode of the year. This is Straight Talk No Chase, season two, 2021, episode one. Trip Simpson is in the building, along with Kirk Keys. For 2021, we gonna say it right, just say it. Hazel say? Vixen. I'll take it. Sunflower Haze. <laughs> Which Hazel? <laughs> Which Hazel? <laughs> Don't be laughing. Hazel Nuts, my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, the uh, the digital. Wheeling and dealing, hustling and bustling. <laughs> Vanessa. <laughs> my dresser. Cosby Digital in the building. The digital's here. <laughs> Hashtag oh man! Dr. <laughs> Hashtag Doctor Uma. <laughs> I don't have enough money. <laughs> Hashtag donate donations. F D M G, F D M G. Cash App dot me. All right, so what's good, man? First off, we're gonna start with Kirk. Per use. Um, how's your year been going? How's everything um been panning out for you, man? My year's been going solid. I uh I kind of BS the whole January though. I I treated that as the vacation. I came in I the year. So you I saw you start in Miami. Yeah, we started in Miami day one, January first. Nice. But that was really to celebrate my man's birthday. We got right to the work after that. I went to a retreat in Florida too with my uh, colleagues, my uh, co-founders, all that good stuff to plan out our year. And then uh, had Easy One Two Three where we honored Stormaya and Karan, two of the students that we've lost um, at the school that I work at. And yeah, here we are in February, about to get it together. Facts. So, yeah, that's pretty much my January in a nutshell. Happy okay. to be here. Happy yep. to see you. Guys. And we're happy yeah. to see you, Kurt. It's been a nice you, little you get, break. You got new glasses? Nah, bro. This was like November, December. Okay. He don't even right. notice. He don't, he don't even know this. He all late. I don't know. So, I mean, right. I see you starting, man. I, I, I like them, man. I, I like them. If I was a glasses wearing ass, I'm regular. I would get those glasses, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> you're, God, you're, gave, God you're gave beanie. me good eyesight. <laughs> you're a beanie guy. You got a new beanie there. Oh, okay. I did. It's a new beanie. I did. It's a new I beanie. Did. It ain't the orange one no more. <laughs> I mean, I'm going bald. I got to get my beanie shit together, bro. Like everybody I'm, has a thing. Glasses. I can give you, uh, you the beanie too, though. Don't forget, I'll be rocking. Oh yeah, it. these made special. You don't even need. You, you got a full head of hair, bro. I know, but my mother makes them, and so this is like my oh, protection. Shit. How much she selling them for? 
Yeah, it depends what you want. I need, like, drive away, like, I need like I need like bulk order. <laughs> <laughs> every color. We can work on something. We need, I need one for every day of the month. He needs pastels. He needs earth tones. Right. <laughs> He's just coming I, up. I definitely need earth tones. Earth tones, you know. She give you the earth tones. But that's a fly knit yeah. though. Like she, her shit is tight. I was gonna yeah. say. You want to plug her real quick? Her Instagram. I mean, she don't really want knit no more. She she oh, still damn. does it. But <laughs> that's why I don't even want to plug it. She, <laughs> she be I plug them and she gets orders galore and she ain't trying to really. Nah, that that do fucking beat no is fly, bro. So I don't even want to plug her. She just. Only makes them for me now. So. Yeah, oh, he got the exclusive. Man, my mama don't make Custom. me shit. I, I, kudos to your mama. <laughs> All I get from my mama is chicken soup. Yeah. My mom don't listen to the podcast, so I could talk shit about her. Man, she can she only give you a view. <laughs> I think my mama turns in sometimes. She be checking me, so I don't know. Right. But what's up, mom? Thanks for the hats. What? Hey, mom, watch the podcast every now and then. <laughs> Just make a podcast. I don't really want my mother to watch that. because. Norman. <laughs> he I don't talks. know what he's gonna say. If he didn't talk, I would love him. Watch, but he talks. We don't so. know what he's he was gonna like. Gonna you say. hang with him, baby, on a regular basis. <laughs> Is he Why? really your friend? Is he oh really your friend? I am not that bad, man. So, so you're 2021. Um, it felt like it. It was yesterday. It was January first. Like it felt like really fast. Mm-hmm. I don't know. If if it felt like that for felt y'all, that but when you're partying all throughout the month and going out of town, and life does go fast. Well, this your first week being here, I rich, know, listen, rich auntie Hazel. Listen, I'm the rich aunt, so I got like 13 nieces and nephews with two siblings. And Jesus Christ, yeah, it goes down. Um, so you got a brother? Yes. <laughs> How many baby mothers do we have? Listen, not on camera. <laughs> Papa I was a rolling stone. They don't, know, they don't all say, know about each other. I know, you, I know <laughs> your sister ain't popping about like that. It's got nah, to be that sister, damn brother. No, my sister, she had twins, and maybe like 18 months later, she got a boy, and she's trying for a girl. She has five boys she, right now. So She has five boys? She has five boys. She's she, going to be well Jesus taken care of. Christ. She's trying for um, a girl. So, yeah, when I say rich auntie, it's legit a whole army. Um, then my babies, though. I love them. So my January has been, it's been pretty, it was chill. And now, you know, February is my birthday month. Um, just got back in town. Um, Birthday's in February? It is. February what? 21st. Oh, you're a damn Pisces. I am a Pisces. Um, Shout out to the Pisces. Yes. Listen, we're the last sign of the Zodiac. So we encompass all the other signs and all the other energies. And yeah, it's legit. Here we go that crazy Zodiac talk. Don't talk. <laughs> listen, here he go. But it's legit. And if you believe in uh Don't Zodiac strike me, Lord. <laughs> strike her. Lord. Listen, who's Lord? I'm, I'm kidding. The Lord of the Zodiac. <laughs> you see, he's baby Jesus. Lord of the Rings. He was baby Jesus the other day. Exactly. That was a What's that was name? a joke. Lord was of it? the Rings, but um yeah. So January was cool. February it's my birthday month. I'm not one of those women that celebrate their birthday all month, but um I do appreciate my solar return. So um I'll be back out of town in about two weeks. Um, Where are you going to? I'm debating between going to Arizona slash Nevada for hiking and like just being in nature, or going to Miami for Mocha Fest. She probably gonna go to Miami. So. Mocha Fest sounds like the movie. Listen, sounds like, definitely sounds like. The listen, movie. it sounds like thongs and um, pina coladas. So I don't know. I'm still debating. But yeah. hey, Sam, look up uh, travel for uh, Mocha Fest. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the rich RV. She, I'm out here. When I say I'm out here, I'm out here. So yeah, I'm excited. Um, 2021. I don't know. I'm, I'm really big on just. Seeing what happens Like I don't have any plans I don't have anything like That I'm looking forward to Outside of just Existing And going with the flow And just being in flow Like what a time To be aligned essentially So yeah Facts Okay That can, that can go good on the shirt don't, Too late Too aligned. late Too late Don't It's probably don't. somebody's sermon It's this thing It's I'm already putting it on the shirt well, you better put it out soon. It's soon. <laughs> I might got a better connect to you. <laughs> better get on that shit. If tonight. it comes out Monday <laughs> and no. yours comes out Wednesday, it was Listen, my it's idea. Gonna a, it's gonna be a part of the crop top chronicles kind of thing. I mean, you yeah. do got your clothing line. You know what I'm saying? You ain't never plug your clothing line on here because yet. everything. Listen, one thing about me, I'm not. All right, y'all. I'm a thinker, not really a doer. So I gotta hook up with the doers because I'm more of like a finger pointer. Like I'm an idea person, but I'm not an executor. And I know that, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. But I think it's really important to know your strengths and your weaknesses. So, so what, you what the, the hell right does people. that mean? So that means that I got to hook up with somebody that's an uh, executor. Somebody Promote that's, your damn clothing line. Well, that's, it doesn't exist. <laughs> it's all an idea I'd be point. seeing you wearing it, though. That ain't yours? No, no. I'm a brand ambassador for um, a couple of other people. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Get it right. Keep yeah. it right. Yeah. I thought that was your shit. That means you need to have your own shit. Because I know. You rep it like it's yours. So yeah, if you got your own shit, you you, should, you definitely should be should be rapping that for sure. Know, R- rich need... rich auntie leisure wear. Listen, um, all that. 
the goddess. Nah, yeah, look, I'm a doer. Let's link. Like no for product, real. product. Seriously, shit. I, I don't have no execution in me. It's all it's all big ideas. I'm a big idea person. That's a good thing though. I mean, yeah. that, but you're smart. You gotta you gotta put her put the right team around you. That's a yeah. fact. That's a fact. I that's mean, why a lot I of people. Accomplish everything because I got a team. I was gonna say like, that's a lot of people ideas, aren't I don't, I like execute neither. greatest stuff. They just I mean, have I the right can, people around them. They have the the right team to to hit the ground for them. So that's what I'm in the process for. Hey, look, me. I, have the ready shoot aim philosophy aim shoot readjust you if you get started with something you have no choice but to move forward sometimes my projects drag me along because i started started them mm. and i've made commitments to people and things signed contracts so it's like you gotta go i'm a researcher so i'm gonna do like all the research and then i spend all the time doing the research see this is one thing i learned that propelled me forward in business in my career. You can't have paralysis by analysis. I'm and that's where you might be I'm at. Hip. Like you can't just keep looking at every little, little thing. Like the people around me who have done shit, like they're like, oh, got a good idea. Let's go forward. Let's move forward. Yeah. Cause guess what? You are gonna hit and, and make a bag or you gonna fuck up and you're gonna learn to <laughs> learn what I you did wrong. And then you so get scary. and you get to adjust again. But you learn more in failure because when you hit something, you don't learn. You just like, oh, I had a good idea. It was great. When you lose some money, you like, oh, you like that again. how the fuck did I do that? <laughs> that <that's, laughs> but, but losing money is the best um, teacher. Yeah. That was your best teacher. You, words don't teach you. Yeah. Yeah. I remember a couple years does. ago, man, I, I did a show with um, Bun B in Backyard. Mm. I lost so much fucking money on that show. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a book 15, 20K bro, loss right there. No, I lost $30,000, bro. What? $30,000. Like, I, what? I took such a, like, I didn't even know how I was going to pay my fucking mortgage. How did that happen? We, we, I, I don't know who to go to. I need to figure out how that happened. I mean, so. Tell I mean, the people. At the end of the day, like, it was because I had another guy working with me, right? And, like, the nigga. I was just waiting for a reason not to have to give up no more money when the nigga gave me that reason. <laughs> I was like, yo, oh, okay, that's how you feel. Fuck you. <laughs> Kept my last little $2,000, paid my mortgage, and like, that was it that, man. Like, yeah. Did somebody not show? Like, what happened? No, I just, I just, just Take didn't sales. do it right. I didn't do it right. I didn't, um, I did it on a Sunday. And yeah. you know how a, an idea sounds good in your head, but then. Then you get too far down the line and with, you can't right. turn back. So the thing. thing about with events that you you got to have the right market conditions, mm. right? Like if you bring in an artist to town, they couldn't have been here two months before mm -hmm. or three months before because all the hardcore fans already saw them. Like you can't do it on the same day as somebody who has a way bigger cachet and event than you. Right. They have trust in their event and venue when you're new to the game. They're gonna take all the money. They're gonna suck up all the air. Now, meanwhile, the artists that you bring in, they don't give a fuck about none of these other conditions. Paid, yeah. This is my fee. When I show up, I want my fee. I don't care if it's two people in the building. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna rap my songs and I'm gonna go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I mean, he 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 took his fifteen, but but he did his job though. Like, he even did an interview with the city paper prior to the show. He did his okay. job. Yeah. It's just we did it on the wrong day. It was like the day after, like I think it was Sugar Bear or somebody's birthday. Damn, it just the it people just, was already tired. They was hungry. Right. Over. It just it just wasn't it just wasn't um good. But it was a good it was a good lesson. Like that shit won't happen to me again. I'm surprised because back y'all usually draw a crowd. It was like I said, it was a Sunday. Even on Sunday, wasn't go go but ba Sunday. But backyards before? crowd. They backyard crowd is partying from Thursday on. Yeah. So if they've been to the show Thursday, Thursday Friday, Friday, and Saturday, Saturday they've Sunday. spent two hundred dollars just getting in. Every they probably spent day. two to three hundred going to that show by Sunday. You're not gonna pay it another forty to sixty dollars right. plus drinks. That'll put you in a four to five hundred dollar range. There's only a certain amount of people who can afford that shit. So, I mean, you live. You but now you but now you know that like right. I, I learned that by losing money on shows like you need to pay attention to what other shows are going on don't you can't be with another big event it could be like the playoffs so what was your biggest Some, loss? i've lost two one time or two five what? here two thousand oh, five okay. 500 I'm, I ain't gonna lie A 500 loss When you only got Like 8, 900 Felt way worse <laughs> Than like losing 2,000 2, When you got, like you got 10,000 yeah, That bad. I lost 500 When I only had 7 And I was expecting Like well, I'm gonna turn This 5 Into <laughs> something I, I lost it all That was way oh, Like how he said 
Oh damn! I was like, I got a car note. You know what happened? <laughs> you know, like if you wake up on Christmas morning and you ain't got nothing for Christmas, <laughs> and you got that lump in your throat, <laughs> you just go back to bed. <laughs> you only want nothing to eat. No, Yo. I brought yeah, I brought this artist to Tacoma Station. Like I was like, what am I first time paying the artist to come on? I used to like, love Tacoma Station off of a tour, right? And I was like, yeah, they was telling me about their fan base and how they was gonna be to sell this area. Like, you know what? I'm gonna take the gamble on this now, mind you. I didn't never used to pay no money for them shows. My my cost was already always built into the show, mm-hmm. so I always started off the show in the green. This is the first one. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna book an artist. I know what I'm doing. I did not, <laughs> and I paid the artist, and I paid for the band, and paid for all these things, and I lost a lot of so money when I didn't even. Really research. Don't listen to what a manager or artist would tell you. You got to do that. The, 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 the real, the real, an, yeah, the real analytics. Like when the last time they played, when the last show they did, all these things that are related to the business. You can't leave, or you can't just leave it up to chance. Mm-hmm. Like you got to make an educated decision about. Come it. on, black man, y'all teaching these financial oh, yeah. lessons here. I appreciate. That. I mean, I but it's, appreciate this. but. I can speak for myself and a lot of people in this room like we've accomplished great things because we took leaps like he'll talk about his failure at that party but you know he was one of the organizers of that firefighter ems party they didn't make some bands on some shows i didn't show oh, up yeah. Oh, yeah. and he come to the door with a bottle and <laughs> you know like what i'm diddy. saying like like diddy <laughs> and i come to the howard <laughs> theater it's like diddy. three you know what i'm saying two thousand people in there he definitely didn't take an l them nights but you got to have those bad you nights go to understand first. too Gotta go through so it first. as an entrepreneur yeah. What's the one lesson You would teach both of y'all What's the one lesson You would teach for somebody Who wants to throw events Somebody who wants to Step in this arena Do the it one thing. Get an idea You gotta get your it. feet wet Honestly I it. mean I can sit up here And tell you what to do all day But you gonna have to Experience it mm-hmm. Um you gotta give them the game. Try to fall under somebody's wing that's First I would say Find that. somebody that's doing it Okay Like I know me and my partners Um We fell under the wing Of some older guys Who kind of gave us A lot of game Okay So um that's how we've had a lot of success with our events. Um, that the one I did with Bun B, I did that by myself. <laughs> <laughs> See, he tried, to, he tried to tried to take the training wheels off. Yeah. He like I'm ready. But that was a, that was a lesson because like them niggas was like I don't know if I want to fuck with that. I was like oh fuck it, I'll show them. And I just I wasn't in not in a negative way, but like I did it you without them because I thought so. that I you know I you know, but in the end they were right. I shouldn't have done it. But like it was a lesson I had to learn. But and, words and you, don't teach you. But then you learn to rely on some of the the wisdom around you. Like oh, yeah. he jumped out there and didn't rely on the wisdom around him because like I, I'll show you versus like right, just chill. Like because this is the thing. It's very few. There are very few opportunities if you don't do it right then and there. You know it's never going to be there. When it comes to parties, events, and shit like that, like. Just wait, just wait for your time Like niggas is always Gonna wanna Go do certain things There's very few times That you just gotta I gotta go now okay. You know what I'm saying The conditions gotta be right Just like That's part of the reason Why so many restaurants Hospitality things fail Because people's like I'm just gonna go But sometimes Conditions gotta be right yeah, You gotta plan it <laughs> You gotta plan that um, Okay so But you still gotta do it But you gotta plan it A lot of people Get stuck in just Planning phase They never Invest, yeah, they never do it. Definitely invest in advertisement. Okay, advertisement. Yeah, for get, sure. get under somebody's wing and yeah, analytics. You need a Cosby your, Digital your in your life. You Our Cosby advertising game was crazy. Like we put we put a lot of dollars in Instagram. We hit the we hit the motherfucking streets with the motherfucking flyers. flyers. <laughs> Hold on, I've even I've even I've even passed, I've even passed out flyers for this nigga before. Yeah. Niggas okay. hit every go go. I've seen whoa, them whoa, passing out flyers. I've, def- I've definitely passed out flyers for him. So that is definitely true. You gotta you gotta. It's a humbling experience. Gorilla market. It's definitely humbling. It's actually it's actually fun it's sometimes fun, after an event <laughs> when they be like nigga or nigga be like I don't want this fucking fly <laughs> throw it on the ground. You see a lot of your shit in the trash or on the floor on the ground. That is a humbling experience. They will look at it, and look in you in the face. eye, and yeah. throw it's it on the ground. They say out of the ten thousand no. that get it, one thousand to look at it. He'll throw it. No, they'll throw it at your feet. Especially out of the hundred that say they're gonna go, the ten that actually gonna show up. Mm-hmm. Women are more disrespectful. They'll look you in your eye and throw it at your feet. But it's easy. To, it's easier to get the women though. Like it's the dudes that be on that bullshit. But a dude not gonna throw it down in front of you out of out of respect. A I woman would throw it. A woman to throw that. 
Like, uh, 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 and throw that joint down <laughs> right see, in front of you. Here's another thing, though. You got to know your target audience. For the shows that I'm doing, like, it's a certain woman that I know is going to come to the show, mm-hmm. right? And I, those are the easiest kind of women, to, easiest kind of women to, like, uh, to market, advertise market, to. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you know what I'm talking about. The go-go crowd. Yeah. What you about to say? What 35 you about to, say? to 45, <laughs> two, three kids. You know what I mean? Uh, I, knew, I knew it was coming. It was, it was, but what I'm saying is, coming. you know, you approach him nicely, half ass like a gentleman. Oh, he nice. He don't talk to me like the rest of these niggas here. <laughs> He's a flyer. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know what oh, I'm saying? getting started early. How was your January? Yeah, but I meant to ask you. <laughs> Uh, my January was great. Uh, I feel much like Kirk Keys did. It went by really fast. I feel like I started out on vacation. So I feel like it kind of cut my month in half. I was anticipating the vacation, went on vacation. Then that week after your vacation, you're like, damn, I wish I was still there. Mm-hmm. So I felt like I lost like two weeks. <laughs> um, I attempted um, to do work on vacation. Actually, we did. Uh, shout out to Sam Johnson Three photography in the building He was out in Tulum with me We we did working days We worked by the pool At least two hours a day Okay yeah. Y'all um, was working alright Yeah we worked It was work Okay By the pool um, alright <laughs> First of so, all Come on Bracelet Like so, look, get into this man's drip hey, y'all Hold Hey on. no 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 Hold Calm on down. Hold I'm on bro- get into this drip I'm broke drip. baby I'm broke <laughs> Baby, I can smell I, I, I left fucking it. Money. <laughs> I, I left it all on the money? I left it all on the field in Tulum. <laughs> um, but shout out, shout out to uh, the tribe Tulum. Shout out to uh, Digital Travel. I started my own travel club. That's what I make jokes about. Uh, I'll be hustling, bustling, moving, wheeling and dealing. Wheeling and dealing. Rich Aunt's traveling club. Yo, let's let's collab on a travel club because I don't want to do it by myself. Um, look, we can do that um, because. Honestly, the travel boom is coming because everybody's at home. Well, Cabin the people, people who are making money are at home saving their money, stacking their money. So when we're able to get back outside, it's going to be a lot of millennials, especially black millennials, ready to make moves and do things. So um, if you guys are looking for an industry or business to get in, travel business is going to be something. You know, look out for... Uh, uh, Trip Simpson, he got some uh, travel business popping up in Jamaica very, very soon. You guys look out for that as well. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, come on, I'm so excited. So, for y'all. Um, like I said, so I-, I feel like I lost half my January, um, but I'm back on point. You know, soliciting new clients, just grinding in my business, and I blinked and it was February. Yeah, I so, realized that. Yeah, well, like I feel. <laughs> Being a stay-at-home wife is probably the life for me because I, I don't miss going into the office. Oh, shout, <laughs> shout out to Jasmine. She's she's with that stay-at-home wife life. And listen, going into the <laughs> office, like, after not going in for a year now, it's like, I'm a nicer person, you know, because I'm not dealing with the hustle and bustle. I'm not dealing with the Rush traffic. Hour, you got put, you yeah. got put clothes. You got put drawers you know and know bras. I don't have to. Like, I can, <laughs> I can be in the flow of everything. Like, and you can cook and clean and all that. Right? Yeah, for sure, okay. for sure. And I'm with the shits. Look, I cook and clean and lingerie, all that. Like, I don't have no problem with that. I think now I'm learning that. Okay, this is more aligned with like my feminine energy than going to work and trying to fight with y'all all day, trying to fix stuff and. I don't want to do that Like I well, learned real quick Like oh I like this Well this is your opportunity um, Just like It's an opportunity For a lot of people Out there man If you have the opportunity To telework Take this time To figure out How you can work from home With your own business Facts. If you don't want to go back Into that hustle and bustle It didn't feel that much Of a change to me I've been working from home A year and a half Before the pandemic Almost two years So I'm about to say You Pretty much been working from home. Yeah, I've been working from home <laughs> for for a minute. So, <laughs> so I just outside, if you want to call it that outside was closed. It didn't feel the same. This yeah, is this is new true. for me. It is. So it's like I, it. I could work from home, but then I'm stuck at home. It didn't it didn't feel the same. <laughs> um, but I had you know a pretty good January. Um, stock market 
is uh, uh, making me sweat bullets right we now. Shout out to everybody. We definitely, we'll definitely Shout out to everybody that. in GameStop. <laughs> we'll AMC, definitely get into AMC, that. AMC, we going to talk about that. Bitcoin, Dogecoin. I made a coin off Dogecoin, though. Kirk but that's was, cool. was an advocate really early on. Yeah, he was. Off Dogecoin in January. Yeah. I'll tell y'all, January 1. Hey, hey but February, Dogecoin looking ugly. <laughs> <laughs> that shit looking It's not going to... Listen, we'll get into that. All right, let's get, let's get into the topic. Wait, for sure, for sure. Did we hear how you January? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, so, okay. Let me say this. What'd you do? The reason why we're doing our first episode in February is because the white supremacists. Felt, no, I felt like it would it would just be a good idea for everybody to bring in their new year. Just do what they got to do. Get your shit together for the first month, and we come start fresh in February. Um, my January was great. Um, made a ton of money fucking working overtime at work dealing with insane. these damn hillbillies <laughs> shout out to the proud boys you got you got trip simpson a few stacks <laughs> where the money resides <laughs> you know what i mean made a ton of money working overtime that man um, was sitting in the firehouse chefing it up right <laughs> chilling <laughs> chilling um got a chance to get get a lot of work done at home um just opened up registrations for summer camp uh, yesterday so you know we're doing good number wise as far as that goes um and other, and other than that you know just taking time to be around the fam okay and just um re-energizing um february is gonna be a great month going back to tulum i can't wait to hear about everybody's valentine's day oh yeah <laughs> i'm excited well i don't celebrate valentine's day i celebrate valentine's day but i, I have a very good wife because my birthday is three days after Valentine's Day, so she oh, don't be tripping. Are you Aquarius? Are you Aquarius? Yeah, I'm on the 17th, so mm-hmm. I'm not expected to do nothing, no crazy shit for Valentine's Day. <laughs> but oh, is every day Valentine's Day in your relationship, of kind course. Of thing? Okay, then I respect that. I receive that. Of course, but um, other than that, you know, <laughs> February got Tulum, March we got Dubai, then Jamaica. Come on, come on now, come on, money. I'm so proud of y'all. What a money man. resides. What a body resides. I ain't got so no money. Mary had a little lamb. I'm so excited for y'all. I'm so proud That's of y'all. So and nobody yeah. told y'all that. I wanted, black women have I really want, I wanted to fuck with that Dubai trip with them, but it just. I wasn't invited. It, it ain't in the cards. Never invited. You guys, first of all, you guys are always invited to all the I'm trips. Never it was like a trap, but it, it was a travel club. What's the name of that travel club? Uh, shout out to my man Sekou. Um, it's the Destination Club. The Destination Club. Is it a lot of singles in that club? Yeah, actually, it is. Because that's the club I need to be. No, it is. And, and honestly, um, I've met some very, very interesting people on all these trips. Mm-hmm. Um, there, there's singles and there's couples, but there's a lot of singles. Okay. I met a lot of influencers. Um, just meet a lot of people, doctors, lawyers, like just. And you didn't tell me about this trip? I'm like the number one person that should be on this trip. I mean, Dubai, I went to Dubai. So we're going. At, so we're, there's a Greece and trip. Listen. There's a there's two Bali trips. There's a Cuba <laughs> trip. All that shit coming. Uh, Bali is the one. That's the one. So you got to go to Bali with us. When that's that's gonna be lit. Um, it's gonna be September. Bali is the move. Don't worry, he won't remind you. He will not. Kurt, we not gonna be on that trip. That's fine. <laughs> Bali, yo, that that's. So like, hold on. What's the name of the company again? The Destination Club. Y'all looked that up on Instagram. That that's what I had to do. Once he told me about it, <laughs> it I, I, I follow him and I send the guy yes, message. When it comes to trips, I plan. Like that's that's my thing. So I, if that's what go. you love to do. Why not make money off of That's that? That's what I said. I was. Um, I thought about starting like a rich aunties travel club. You know, for like the single women that are on, that are in their shit, like on their bag. You know what I'm saying? Just really getting it and like don't. You want to be on the rich aunties travel club? Exactly. See, you, you got one sign up right there. That's definitely <laughs> a rich like, auntie. You, know, were you, okay you see her dog? That's a rich coin. chief. We got a rich auntie. I will say this though. Shout out to my man Seku. We're not trying to steal your business here. <laughs> no, you can't. It's more than one brick. It's company, hella travel clubs. You didn't gotta say that disclaimer. <laughs> <laughs> you think niggas ain't about to travel? I'm just saying. Did not just say. On the onset, is part. I got digital travel club already. <laughs> it's 2021. I'm just Look, keeping it transparent. It's more than, more than one nail polish rich, company. Rich, let's see. We gotta, we gotta make something together like Rich Digital. You do like Rich Ooh, Digital Travel Club. I like it. You know what I'm saying? Like, digital yeah. Auntie. Digital. Or the di- <laughs> the no, digital, digital auntie auntie's. sounds better, huh? <laughs> digital digital auntie. auntie. Digital Aunties. Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling it. That's Just, it. We're going to do that shit. We're going to do that shit. They cut me okay out with already. Spending money, you know, okay with spending a little extra. Look, you, sometimes you, a, you, you a rich auntie. The it's all right. You can- <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Let's get into these motherfuckers. Let's do it. Let's do it. We didn't caught up. I ain't seen them in a long time, y'all. Y'all got to forgive me. Kiki Watts. Kiki says, Wyatt. Who? She feels as though. Who? <laughs> Kiki who? Wyatt. She, Wait, Snoop say who? Sorry, yeah, Kiki Wyatt. I don't know why I said Kiki Watts. <laughs> I stay fucking up people's names. <laughs> yes. 
Kiki yeah. Wise says biracial biracial people are oppressed by blacks. Um, who? Can y'all relate? He can. First of all, I'm not biracial. You sure? <laughs> I'm positive. I sworn you a half salmon. <laughs> <laughs> Leave that man alone. All right, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's do it. Oh, back I'm home. Back. I have been Look nothing but quiet and respectful to you. I have been nothing but quiet and respectful oh, to you. So respectful to you. I have been. Oh, well, I I'm have been. You. you know, segregated. Will have been. Right, you know, go. segregated. Uh, persecuted, hunted down, killed, stolen from, uh, humiliated. Uh, so went through the, well, can you let me finish? Because you won't let me finish. When you talk, when you talk, I have been nothing but quiet. Peep the coon shit, right? He was just talking about how black people are oppressed and killed and all that shit. And she, a uh, alleged Mexican black woman, woman, starts talking about Mexicans and all these other people. She's black when it's convenient. Because then at the end of the show, she started saying nigga this, nigga that. Right. And, and respectful. I have been Look nothing but quiet truth. and respectful to you. I have been nothing but quiet and respectful and to that's you. So, fine, can you, but, but so can you let me talk? I don't understand. Okay, pro black. All right, praise God. Go ahead, sweet sugars. <laughs> this sounds like you talking to Trip Simpson. I'm not all right because, you know, like, I understand, like, we biracial, right? Now, we love everybody, but then you got your, your certain black folks that just. World in reality, because you are so pro black, and it's okay to be pro black. Well, if you're not even letting me Power talk, so I don't even understand people. where I you are because I feel like you're being sarcastic. I'm, and I'm not just trying being to... sarcastic. So, can you let me talk? You have to understand, black people are not the only people that have been oppressed. Oh, she so, if they you are let me not talk, the only be... one, my Jewish people oh have been God. oppressed. You hear this okay. <sighs> Well, I can keep. I can keep going. I'm biracial. Damn it, we pray because black people that made us feel like white people make us feel like you don't know that life. You don't know that. So if you want me to be a ignorant, I will unite. All right, that, that's all I can take. Yes, enough. That's all I can take. Um, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and kick this one off. I'm about to say Kiki White is fucking nuts, Mr. Digital. Go ahead. <laughs> so I feel like. You know, her equating, uh, you know, the oppression of black people to any other ethnic group is a false comparison, number one. So anytime somebody does that, you have to be careful because they're starting off with a false premise. There's no people um, in the modern area of people that has gone through chattel slavery and continue to go through uh, oppression, oppression um, racial discrimination. Um, the way black people do So any other comparison to that Is a false comparison um, I will not like Just totally gloss over the Plight of biracial uh, people Because it's tied to the same thing Being born biracial In America where black people Are oppressed You got like oh I think I can identify as white But you can't because what One drop of black blood makes you black So it goes it's, it's a real crazy pathology Like if you could pass Like some of the people Who could pass back in the day Who were biracial They pass as white Because they understood The advantage That oh, white man. skin gave you So you might have Two people in the same family That From the same mother and father One was considered black One was considered white So When you dig down To the deepness Of what it actually means To be black in America It's not Really tied to like your physical race Like it's tied It's a what social you look like. Yeah it's a social construct It's literally What you look like That determines What you can do So It's I can understand How she feels A certain way Being biracial But she still has to acknowledge You get treated that way Because you're biracial Because inherently America is racist So if Because if everything Was all good You would just have Fair skin And everything Would be good for you But because you're Dealing with 400 years of legacy of slavery where they had the paper bag test they had the house slave and the field slave and it was all based upon color of skin you had mulattoes being ruled a uh, mulatto class being put into place in the south to rule over more dark skinned black people they were still black people but they weren't given the same uh rights as white people so it created a whole psychological 
barrier and 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 and, and muckety muck within black people he that we're still dealing with. A hard time. No, no, y'all. I agree. I, I agree. But I'll I'll even go a step further. First of all, she's nuts. To to sit up and say biracial people are oppressed by black people is the most ridiculous shit I've ever heard in my life. Not oppressed. They just picked that's on. That's what she said. They, they're, they're just picked, picked on. on. No, no, they're just picked on. No, no, no. She said. No, no, no. But she was wrong. Right. And the reason why she's wrong is oppression doesn't have anything to do with get, being picked on. Yeah, you get picked on bullying. if you're fat. You get picked on if you're too skinny. Yeah, it's not my bullying. hairline is fucked up. Niggas flame my hairline growing up. LeBron gets you know, flamed for his hairline. You know what I mean? So I'm not oppressed. Is he oppressed. Everybody going to get teased for something. Okay. Yeah. Everybody gets teased for something. Oppression is what black people in general have gone through in the United States of America. Okay, where well, you're not allowed to get to a certain level. A social a certain socioeconomic status. Mm-hmm. That's oppression. She doesn't have that problem. No. If anything, biracial people are the least oppressed of black folks because they have access to whiteness. That yeah. one white parent that you have uh, probably is going to leave you some money mm-hmm. when they die. Or probably, you know, they well, probably parents, right. Yeah. They probably have something going on on that side. Mm-hmm. Cuz 9 times out of 10, if your mama got with a white man, she ain't going to get a broke one. Yeah. <laughs> and it, and it, and it's the same reason why I said <laughs> what's the point with getting, yeah. getting with a white man if he's going to be broke? Certain black <laughs> men aspire, you know, to date white women once they have a certain amount of success uh, because they yeah, because it allows them a certain access like what he's talking about. Is so for her to see, I don't think it gives you I don't think it gives you access for? but your child it gives your child access but I I think that I think it gives more Like I if you show up get, To something with a white, white woman chicks. It gives you more access I think a lot of these niggas Marry white women But they're not even Marrying a bad joint Right It ain't cause it's not about and, and I'll say this As a person It's not about access. It ain't about the person, badness As a person who's, who's, about who's dated White women before Right Oh that's what it is I mean Where's the button ne- for that never, None of y'all Never smashed <laughs> a white chick <laughs> You said dated So look <laughs> That ain't it I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to throw any shade of disrespect to anyone that I've dealt with in the past. Sure. But for the most part, these black guys, like in the NFL and these actors and and such, that they go and get these white women. I think they get them just because they can't handle a black woman. Well, what I've learned is you can always tell a black man that dates white women, whether he dates them exclusively or if he's dated white women in general. Like because they sometimes they don't give black women the the space. And the, I, I want to say they don't give us the room to actually be black. They're like, oh, if she can do it, you can do it. And they forget that, like, we're still black women. We're still very much having the same problems that you have. So what I've learned is, like, I, you, you can almost tell. Like, I've seen men, and I'm like, you must date white women. And it's like, yeah, I don't understand why black women feel this and why black women feel that. They almost feel like they can't relate because they date white women who don't have the same issues that we have. And it's so unfortunate. Like, how did you forget all your blackness or even what your mom might have gone through just because now you only date white women exclusively because niggas are delusional but but, so that's the part for me and if you're going to date white women don't compare them to black women say you date white women because you like white women not because in comparison to black women she's this she's that she's that that's unfair i don't care what you like if you want to date shoes say you date shoes but don't say i date shoes because i can't stand washcloths like it, it Right. One doesn't. One, no, one no, doesn't. I, no I think there's an air of laziness. I think, yeah. I think there's an air of laziness to people who do that too. Like even 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 um um black women who date white men. I think this is lazy. See, I and, don't agree. No, with no, that. no, no, no. <laughs> I feel like I, it's a different story. I think it's an air of laziness. Why? why? Because why? Tell you. Because, because, tell you. because tell you. if we're ever going to progress, right? A gener- one generation has to say, you know what? We gotta sacrifice what we want to do for what for the for the greater good. Okay, like you have to have them when you dating another black person. You have to have the mindset like this is not gonna be perfect. Our circumstances in this country aren't such. So you have to go into the relationship knowing that and being ready to deal with these type of things. Yeah, being real, being. But it's these people, these people that run and go off to these other cultures. They're running from something that they really can't run from. Now I appreciate that. So the reason that I said it's different when black women date white women white men it's because i think we've been fighting with you guys for a really long time and it feels like you all don't don't reciprocate that it feels like we've been on the front lines it feels like we it feels like we're your least favorite people like when it comes to you like your rap songs is black is how bad we ain't this how bad we ain't that if i'm being honest i've never been somewhere and i've heard how 
like white men talk about bad about white women. I I've mean, never heard it in, in a public space. Our men will literally degrade us and say, oh, thoughts, bitches, this, y'all ain't this, y'all ain't that. Even when white women are at their lowest class, white men don't get on. Can I stop women. you right there? No, because I'm not done. So white men don't get on and be like, oh, trailer trash bitches and trailer trash bitches don't deserve this. They don't deserve that. So what I feel like is I don't feel like we're overall protected by our men. Now, I won't say that some don't because there's pockets and things of that nature. So I can see why black women might have given up. I don't agree with it because I don't date white men. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't date I white men. I don't date outside of my race. However, I can see because I feel like black women have always been a soft place for black men, but you all haven't been that for us I, over time. I, I disagree. You can say the same thing on both sides. Men, black men have the same have a gripe as well against black women. What I'm saying is What's none of that. First of all, the biggest gripe I have is that a lot of black women, right? Not <laughs> say a lot of black women. Say most, it. most specifically, your hood rats, right? Mm -hmm. The hood rats are our biggest issue next to white men. Which is what? Because they are agents of white supremacy. More they're, agents than you're mixed? They're agents of white supremacy. Hood rats are... First off, let's look who takes care of them. The government, right? What about the... <laughs> they wait, get wait, their, but there's more white people on welfare than black people. Right, but what I'm saying is... we You can have a... Black men can, can have the same gripe against... Uh, black men can have the same gripe against... Black women also because you can say, hey, they dog us in the court. Um Because y'all don't know. take care of your kids? Well, that's not every dude. Not every dude doesn't take care of his kids. I know a lot of good men who take care of their kids that's getting slammed for child support every month. But what about the women that were left to be moms and dads? Okay. That's unfortunate. But what I'm saying is you also have women who take that and they use it against good men. Sure. Just because the man doesn't want to be with you no more, you use the courts to punish him. Sure, I don't know how that happens. A hell of a that, that happens. A lot. I agree, it happens. I feel so like, I feel like all of these gripes on both sides. Like I agree, all of these issues are a offshoot of our white issue supremacy? dealing with white supremacy. Exactly. So I don't, I don't, I don't want to necessarily say wow. like it's a necessarily a gripe against women or a gripe against men because if if you look at we're being pitted like, against like each if other. you if you look at like a. Uh, the coronavirus, right? Like we're picking little symptoms. Like, oh, you got a headache over here. You got diarrhea over here. You got loss of smell over here. But everybody's not addressing what's the real, the root cause of it. Because if fathers aren't being taken out of home because of mass incarceration, if if men aren't being castrated and subjugated in corporate America. Like by white supremacy If these things aren't happening to the black man When he's out in public He doesn't go home and then try to Subjugate the black woman Because honestly that's what happened As a black man You don't have control over your environment right? You can't really decide where you live What you can do Like on a, a on a large scale basis It's individual okay. us who got like real hustle And real things like But it's going to be a low percentage mm -hmm. The average black man does not get to dictate The circumstances But where he can dictate the circumstances is in, his, is in his own home So that's, that shit is like a trickle down That energy comes into the household And he's trickling that shit down to his kids His woman That lack of feeling control on the outside, like a, a cop can pull him over, smack him around, go in his pockets. A, 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 a white a white dude it. call you boy. You can't do shit about it. But only thing you you can try to control your woman. You can bring that energy home. But even similar to that, they're also trying to replicate what white families look like, and they yeah. see white men are able to do that to yeah. white women, which is why they want to be able to do that to their black women as well. And black women don't go for that same thing. So then you turn around and have black men. Dating white women because of the Ooh, ease I and like the okay. access. I received so that. So it's a little bit of both. On that one. Yeah, I received it's that. a little bit of both. It's the whole full circle of I see how white men treat their white women, and I see how white women allow that. So that's how I want to be able to treat my woman too. I mean, ask Chad Wheeler's girlfriend how that white man worked out for her, yeah. which is crazy, <laughs> y'all. Oh, well, are we done with this biracial thing? So what y'all think? Because the biracial it's, it's thing is fluke anyway. I mean, yeah, Kiki really Watt is a ridiculous that. person. She just opened the door for a larger discussion, right? Yeah, she, was, that she, is was just, what it is. she was just step. She was just stepping stone. Fair enough. So, yeah. I Mr. Mean, Wheeler, Chad Wheeler beat the dog shit out of his girlfriend, mm. a black woman, 
And basically, he thought he killed her. It's hush hush though. I feel yeah, like it's not getting it's real nearly hush-hush. enough. Like, Nobody's heard anything from KRS two. Where is she at? <laughs> Who the fuck is that? Tarana Burke. You don't know that. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know that was an acronym to describe her. <laughs> Do you know what she looked like? <laughs> yeah, KRS2. but I didn't know her name was KRS two. Hell yeah. <laughs> It's oh. fitting. This guy. It's perfect. It's the perfect joke. The bridge is over. As <laughs> soon as I heard him, as soon as I saw him say it one day, I was like, I know exactly who he's talking about. Without even a concept. <laughs> he said it's the perfect joke. Bye. I ain't gonna participate in that disrespect. Right, I ain't doing that. But now where she was at, a disrespect? Where's he's a human at? being. Are you judging KRS one? You saying he's unattractive? <laughs> the whole time I was your Burke. words. <laughs> I didn't say that. I said KRS two. <laughs> you said you weren't taking a disrespect. I'm just saying maybe it was. Well, you said she like a man. They just She looks like KRS one. And my sister looks like my. Dad. So what? <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> my thing is, you ain't call, what's your dad's name? Listen, how about this? Uh, <laughs> you ain't call does Lori Harvey such not such look like Steve you Harvey. Say, you ain't call no. her such and such. Lori Harvey like, don't look like Steve Harvey. That's not her. That's not his real you daughter. Know. It don't matter. They don't look alike. No, no. I be thinking they just look alike. I can see it. No, Put the it. weed down. Hashtag Doctor Umar. You don't think they don't Hashtag Stevie Day. Put the weed. Nah, they off the weed. So for what it's worth, I, I think that I'm not really sure why that like brushing it under the rug the way they are. Like I, he needs to be prosecuted in the fullest extent. Like he needs to lose his career. If Mike I mean, that's Vick, murder. If Mike Vick loses his career over fighting pit bulls, which is a cultural thing. You know, like let's be honest, black people fight dogs. Like that's just it, it is. I'm it not. Is. I'm not okay. In that. <laughs> I mean, regardless, I don't, I've never been to a dog fight a day in my I mean, life. I mean, that's the thing. Maybe and I've done maybe a lot of ratchet you. shit. Maybe not you, but even like you know, like uh, Mexicans and whatnot, they have like they fight chickens. Yeah, they fight chickens. You know what I'm saying? It's a cultural thing. Cock so, fights. Shout out, shout out, <laughs> shout out to the shout out to the Vicks. I got some Vicks in my family. Shout out to South nah, Southampton County. Like it's a real thing. That, so it's it's a cultural thing. Yeah. So if you can get locked up for that, now granted, however. Heinous, you you deem the crime, whatever, because y'all know Bruh, how white people feel about that's dogs. Dull, but this is the thing. We domesticated dogs. We've changed them from being wild animals to animals for us, our pleasure. Right. Our, our, we, deci- yeah, our <laughs> we decided that we wanted dogs. And now so, anything you do against them is a problem, yeah. but... And we mean, made we made a domesticated dog. They didn't exist. But you exist. mean to tell me there's attempted murder on a black woman? That's what I was about to say. He's an NFL player. You said. Yeah, yeah they're both NFL players. Why are we players? thinking like we don't know what they do? Which and mean? they all get away with it at the end of the day. What's that? But what I'm saying is, they all beat women. Not all well, of them. Well, 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 look, look, look how they did Ray Rice. Historically, look how they did Ray Rice. The well, woman well, hawk spit in this man's face. I right, he clocked her. But I mean, damn, you look like you was okay with that. It's not that I'm okay with it, but like. She spit in his face. Like, you spit in my face, all bets are off. I'm not saying yeah, I'm going to get you. Yeah, but not only did he clock her, he dragged her out the elevator. Well, she was she wouldn't unconscious. get up. <laughs> yeah, but, you don't, but he didn't pick her she up lovingly. She wouldn't get up. He might not be strong enough. <laughs> yeah, but he didn't pick her up lovingly. There's no way you're not strong he enough. Didn't. You want to football He didn't pick her up lovingly. You're right. Like, he didn't he, pick her up lovingly. She he spit in this nigga face. Okay, but you knocked her out. Did you need to knock her out? Uh, listen. You couldn't smoosh her? Like I don't hit women. I don't condone hitting women. But if you spit in somebody's face, you get what you so got. So you like spits in your they're face. No longer, you gonna no knock longer, her unconscious? You're no longer saying. I'm not, like, I'm not gonna spit. I'm, I'm not gonna hit her. I'll probably spit and back this in her face. Donor, I'm petty like that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't hit her like that. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, so for what it's worth, this woman was knocked unconscious and then dragged out of the elevator. She'll never spit on another nigga again. But listen, then he kicked her foot. Like he didn't even there was, there was no there was no loving interaction. He didn't treat her like that was his wife at any point. Like he had knew this woman beyond her drunken state. And so for this situation with this this white guy and this black woman, where there's no evidence of her even trying to like assault him or anything, right. he beat her ass because he I, and then I, kept I heard, going. I, I, I left with it because he didn't buy. And then when she walked out the bathroom, he was like, "Damn, you are still alive?" Has he played another game? <laughs> It was like because she didn't bow to him. That's what I read. Because she didn't bow to him, y'all. Because she didn't bow to him. Yeah. Keep hey, going out here, keep swirling. So he probably got number one. He the probably white man got, gonna he, beat the brakes off you and get away with it in court. He probably got CTE. Um, no, don't get this motherfucking no that, no yeah. motherfucking uh, benefit of the doubt. Uh, like that. He's a fucking abuser. Yeah. Get Toronto Burke and the rest of these hoes out here. Get the marching. So yeah. let me finish. So not the rest of these. I'm hoes, saying that he but. probably because to be able to do that, like you whoop somebody's ass and go to dinner and they think, well, oh, you're alive. <laughs> like you, got, you gotta normal. have some break. That's like, some right turn yeah, shit. Damn, bitch, you yeah, throwing, that's you not, stronger than I thought. That's not it. normal. So it's like we gotta recognize people who play the most violent sport 
in the world when they get violent with other people the thing that makes them great and can get them paid hundreds of millions of dollars can manifest itself in other ways like certain people will whoop somebody's ass certain people will harm themselves like junior Seau committed suicide Derek thomas committed suicide countless other players who had violent you. problems and committed suicide who wasn't Steel, as famous as these players they may have played one either. two three years that are nameless myself. at this point right you know you have traumatic brain injury that affects you right that's that's something that we can't we even if we love football that's something that we have to come to grips with i don't gotta come to grips with shit he beat the brakes off this woman well, 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 but what I, my next point with that is that if a black athlete did that they're gonna you know make an example they're out gonna of make an example out. All I'm saying but the is, problem is we don't control our own image white people have always <laughs> like Protected and cape for other white people. You can look at uh, uh, Elvis and Jerry Lewis versus R. Kelly and Bill Cosby. The uh, uh, what's the nigga um, Harvey Weinstein versus? I'm glad you whoever. said that. Yeah. That's the point I wanted to yeah. bring up tonight. So, yeah, we don't. We it's it's Me Too. It's the Me Too movement and all of these other black female advocacy abuse movements. Yeah. Are they even rele- relevant? Because it seems to me, and this is the question I'm posing to the panel. Mm. Do they only target black men? How come? It, how come when white men do shit, you don't see them say anything? Maybe it's because of proximity. No, they no. This is the thing. Proximity. They, no, no. They but said you black, so you. Close but no, no, it. I don't know. She's a black woman, and a, somebody beat the shit out of her. So this is I the thing. I, I don't know. They can make statements, but because they don't have enough power to really penetrate the that media wall, right? If a white woman says something about what's my man that was on um. Uh, NBC, not Al Roker, but the white dude. Um, can't think of his name. But a white woman has enough power and energy to p- penetrate that that wall. Some of the white women, all them white women that were suing Roger Ailes at Fox, right? Mm. They had enough power to penetrate that media wall to get some shit happen, a settlement, whatever. Black people don't have enough power and cachet to even. Penetrate these, but they got the power when it comes to getting a black man locked up. Because the 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 black man is already halfway there. Yeah, the the media already the the media already wants to vilify the black man. So if that story comes across, like, oh, another nigga. What what I'm saying is, is, Tawana Burke didn't even give a fucking tweet about it. No tweet, bitch. No tweet. Yeah, you didn't give up. You didn't say a peep about the situation. What's the last thing she tweeted about? But let a nigga accuse Bill Cosby of, of having. Taking drugs with a bitch eighty years ago, and he need to be locked up. I feel like you are reaching. So, did she tweet about, but those, tweet those, about are, those, are, those are two different did things. Though. About, no, but, was the, the, but the, the bitch Kevin was Hardy? front and center with Bill Cosby. But this, that, where you at now? But hold on, those are two. Those, those are That's two different. It is the same. It's not the same. It's not the same. No, it's not. Listen, did did she was she front and center for like Kevin Hardy or whatever the Cowboys DM was? He wasn't even with the Cowboys. She was front and center for Kareem Hunt. Was she front and center? Front and center for R. Kelly. She was front and center for all that shit. Is not is not this random white NFL player. This is different. So you're conflating one two issues. One is domestic violence. One is like sex saying. trafficking. So maybe maybe her issue no, no. is sex Toronto trafficking. Burke, the people were Toronto responsible Burke, for disciplining this man Toronto in the NFL. Burke, and the NFL, he ain't played another game. Toronto yet, so Burke proof of whether he specifically goes advocates for black women who have been abused and sexually or physically. Okay, so I didn't. I don't know her plight. Okay. I thought it was just a sexual. But when it comes to a black woman who's abused by a white man, they have nothing to say. But none of these feminists. Has, so that's what I think. All I think of the feminist broads that, that that's on my Facebook feed, and none of them had nothing to say. The black feminists. None so of them. Hold on. So was he arrested? I think. I yeah, guess he, he was. was arre- yeah. He was arrested. But he was released already so, for attempted murder. He was released. So this this is what sometimes like the white motherfuckers do to black people, right? When it was like, well, what about this murder? What about you didn't speak out? Of, the nigga who shot Ray Ray is in jail. So we don't got to talk about who shot Ray Ray. We don't got to talk about this. We don't have to talk about this issue. But because, is he going to jail? Yeah, the, the niggas is locked up. But when we talk about police violence, the police officer is out. He ain't getting arrested. So it's going to be interesting to see if, if he, regardless of being arrested, if yeah. he's walks the street and does not get arrested or does not have any charges that's gonna be insane that's yeah. gonna be crazy that, but right now I mean, they're like, already I would, trying I would, to paint the picture like his mental health but, but, I, but thing, I would but I wouldn't expect I wouldn't expect them to speak out about that because their lane is more sexual assault than I think what a I'm straight ass whooping is how with black men 
you all don't get the, oh, maybe it's his mental, it's how he grew up, it's his upbringing, you know, he's been a troubled teen, none of that, he didn't make it on his varsity team, so, you know, he hasn't been right since. You all don't have those issues, or you don't get, you're not given those, that room. Whereas white people, they're like, oh, well, you know, he was a troubled teen, and he was always picked on, he was always bullied, and it just makes sense to us, that kind of thing. And so for me, I think that's the part that I'm missing, is like, he did what he did, this man's a monster, he's an abusive person, and regardless of the, the sport and things that he plays, it's a problem. The nigga was at the table like this. Well, I like think, nothing I happened. Think, um, Damn, Cosby bitch. Cosby just hit you the nail on the head. Cosby hit the nail That's crazy. She's a sexual um, assault advocate, not a domestic assault advocate at the end of the day. And as much as you want to lump these things, it's not the same thing. It's I the mean, same he goddamn said, he thing. He said physical mm-hmm. and sexual, so. Who said she advocates I'm for what she said. The me, the I mean, what this is the Me Too movement is isn't I'm getting my ass whipped too. It's I'm sexually harassed. Yeah, being sexual, sex trafficked, and all of that. So it's two different plights. That's fair. Pass That's that fair. to me, Gert. I mean, pull yeah. up, pull up, pull up. So we're just gonna say they're two different plights. Like this woman getting we're her ass whipped. They're two different plights. It doesn't. Like, so don't don't all lie about it. It's still a problem. To the right people. To want to burk being a man. To want to burk for her. She commented on Kareem Hunt. She commented on Ray on Ray Rice. She comments on all of this shit. Prove to me that she commented on Ray Rice. Pull up your computer and show that she commented on Ray Rice. Did that search right? And that's like that's almost like eight years ago. (laughs) It was before she was even like a thing. That's why I don't even think she did it. Did she say like, "Damn, it was fucked up"? He beat her ass. That's (laughs) but she but she is an advocate for sexual assault. So, but we're not saying. That what happened is okay. Is okay. We're just so saying, we're, we're just saying that I don't expect him to play another game in the league. And if he does, then Damn. you have a you have a off, complaint. Off the buck, Ray Rice, Toronto Burke. What did it say? Read it Coop. for the people. They don't say that she said anything about him. Gotta watch out for these Trip Simpson yeah, facts. That's what I'm saying. Like Ray Rice, Ray, Ray Rice beat this woman, and then they say Toronto Burke it's founded all, a. It's all over the same article, sir. <laughs> yeah. It's like two different topics in the same article, though. Now you can't see. <laughs> nah, it ain't, it ain't loading. Oh, I'm gonna find it. Oh, your phone ain't loading right. What's the next topic? Yeah, why are you looking for that? <laughs> Go to the related item. Well, what actually, now that, we're, now that we're on the sexual thing, we can talk about Ti and Tiny. Look at you and how they traffic women. Look at you. I got you. I Look got at you. you. I'm I'm the only non-drinker, so I got you. I got it up here for you. Hey. All right. So that's discriminating. <laughs> <laughs> I would Memory not. Intact. I would not <laughs> co-sign that. So that's a good segue. We got track. I'm gonna find that Toronto Burke shit. Don't you worry. <laughs> she didn't speak on it. Sure, she you are. She didn't care. Sure, you are. Oh, we got track. KRS too. Um, Ti and Tiny uh, have been accused um, of sex trafficking. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Um, what's the chick's name? Sabrina something. Mm-hmm. One of their former associates, uh, probably some thought that they used to deal with, uh, who's looking for a bag. Basically, so you don't you think they're innocent? Um, y'all know me. I I love to criticize Ti. I, I, Ti irks my last fucking nerves. Okay, but, but you've been I don't, on his side a lot lately. How good versus evil? Yeah. <laughs> evil would not prevail. We just did a epi- we just did a podcast a couple weeks ago about Ti, and I'm shitted on Ti. No, you was on his side about the whole um, thought the, prevention hour and the hymen. the hymen. I don't know about the hymen thought prevention hours. <laughs> I agree with you. <laughs> he's he's a fan of hymen checking Ti, yeah. but, but you ain't a fan but, of sex trafficking Ti. <laughs> I mean, Ti I mean, and Tiny don't need to sell pussy. Okay, who does? Some in the industry, need to. no, not in the industry, but well, it still well, happens. But what I'm R. saying, R. Kelly is, didn't need to have a little girls, but he did. What I'm saying is, I think Ti and Tiny are probably just having fun with these women, and you know, sometimes when you get left out the equation, people start getting jealous and start getting resentful and start making shit up. Talking about you did this and you did that, only because it's easy to accuse a black man of anything. Well, for me, so this is where I stand on that. I, I feel like believe black women. Well, beyond that, I feel, I feel like. <laughs> You know, sexual allegations like this are so huge. I just want it to be proven without a shadow of a doubt because I want to make sure, because once you have that stain, it's really hard to come back from that. Like, I don't know that people come back from that type of stain, especially sex trafficking in this day and age and all those movements and, and all the crazy things that have come out. Like, people come back from murder. You murder somebody, you can come back, you'll be okay. They I mean, will, they will sex still... trafficking is pipping. No, but no, no, no. Wait a minute. It is. It's... it's 
What? Sex trafficking is not pimping per se. Pimping, That's what pimps get locked up for. No, trafficking. Sex. Yeah, but sex trafficking, a lot of them are victims. They don't know what's happening. They're like, they've been told like, hey, yeah, come to my country. You can come visit me. Da-da. Next thing you know, they're sex slaves. Like there's more to that. Pimping, it, it's, it's not as... They, so do, do you understand? I wasn't done. I don't okay. know. What's, what's your thing? Listen. No, no, go ahead. I'm sorry. I, I, sh- I <laughs> shouldn't have been rude. I shouldn't have been rude. Forget, but what I'm trying to say is I feel like before we go to victim blaming or victim bashing or not believing the victim, for me, it's like I just want to know, but out of the shadow of a doubt, before we put this stain and this taint, like taint um, T.I. in this way, I just want to make sure that we have all the facts because once we do, he's done. Like, just like R. Kelly, even though people still like, oh, I listen to R. Kelly music. Like, even when his music came up on one of the verses joints, they turned this album off real fast. You know what I'm saying? Like, the culture has really tried to do what they can to cancel this man because of those allegations. So before we cancel him, I just want to make sure that he de- is deserving. Because I do know that rape allegations happen. I've seen it with, you know, with athletes who, you know, black athletes who deal with white women. And because they can't admit to their dads that they're having sex with a white a black athlete, they claim rape. And next thing you know, this man's career is done. There's nothing he can do, that kind of thing. So I just want to make sure that in the event this is true... It has to be proven, and that way we can all move accordingly and as a unit. Now, I won't say that they're thoughts and they just didn't get their just due. They didn't have their fun. It wasn't. It wasn't. This. They're definitely thoughts gonna... if they were doing what. But that's the thing. You forget that you can say no at any point. You can say no at any point. You could be inside of me, and I could be like, I'm done. And you have to get out. You don't get to keep going. Once I say no, the answer is no. And regardless of how, you, before you say something, I think it's really important for men to understand that. Whenever the no comes, respect it as that no is a complete sentence. I don't need to explain my no. I don't need to justify or anything like that. No is a complete sentence. Regardless of how y'all be like, ooh, no, stop. And y'all be like, well, when she say no and all that, I get that. But understand, it doesn't matter what process of sex we're in. If I say no, that is the answer. So you can't call me a thought just because I'm willing to go this far. It doesn't matter. Okay. Well, you've been getting hold on, hold on, hold on. before the sex part. No, no. The, the- <laughs> the, the, so... They were having threesomes with women and like doing mollies and all type of shit and like having crazy sex but parties. But it doesn't mean that at any point they tried to women... flip that and say that they're trafficking people, which is I, I, well, maybe they it doesn't were. even add up. It does. It could possibly add up. It, you could very well be drugged and not know what's going on around you. You could very well not agree to take a molly or not agree to pop a pill and be taken advantage of. Like, are we going to act like being roofied and things like that isn't a real thing? And don't say that Ti doesn't need to do it because. We don't know what he's into. Like I find, like honestly, a lot of rich men be into some wild shit, and some people don't want to don't want to do that. So you know what? I mean, Let me go people, in and lower their lower her. These inter- people inhibition. have wild. I mean, they have wild sex parties. That's what they do. You come to the party, and one of the, one of the things and they I said one of the rules. One like of the rules is if you come to the party, you have to be on Molly. If you don't, if you're not on Molly, you can't come in. You know what time it is. It, I, I can't. I can't sit with that. I can't be okay. How, with how that. can't you? Because just because I know what time it is doesn't mean I'm welcoming everything that comes with well, that. Well, don't come to my fucking party. Yeah, but I can still say hey, no. Don't tell hey me guys, I can't say no. Hey guys, we're having no. a sex party. If you're not going to be on Molly's, don't come. It's simple. Okay, I come and I take a Molly, but does that mean now I get it's to have... It's a sex party. But does that mean now that I get to be gang raped and all that other stuff? What if it's I just want to do the Molly? Party. So what? So, so what? So, so don't come to the sex are party. Are we clear on... No, are we actually no. clear on what the allegations actually were? Because... If there are, let, let's be clear. There are no allegations. This has not been filed in court. This is some broad... Flapping her gums. It was like Snapchat or something. Well, no, nah, it was. It was. So, she's already been proven to be a fraud. So it was a couple. They got maybe like four or five allegations, which the amount, you know, once you get to four or five, if you had like 20, 25, you know, I get it. Are they all black women? Yeah, they are. That's another thing, too, that I've learned. There are 19 women that nobody has seen is no names. No, but that's what I've learned, too, is when black women are the the victims, people don't really take it serious until a white woman comes out and says, me, too. And that's when it's all of a sudden. That's when Tarana Burke takes it seriously. Well, no, I'm just saying. But in general, I find that that happens a lot. Like, nobody takes our pain, our suffering. Nobody takes our our complaints. They don't take us serious because it's almost as if, well, you're overly sexualized anyway. Or Congratulations, you're black. Nobody takes us seriously either. No, but see, you're, you're doing you're doing on the all lives matter right now that's not what we're talking about i get that what i'm saying is until a white woman comes forward p- 
people probably aren't going to take this serious. It's going to be seen as like, oh, she's a thought. She asked for this. She welcomed this. She came to a sex party, so she should have been okay with whatever the sex party entailed. Like, at some point, like, you telling me that just because I go to a sex party, there's things that you agree to all the time, and you get there, and you're like, you know what? I'm not really feeling this. So I still got it because I'm here. I got to be taken advantage of. Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. So then it, it comes to the trafficking point that where people are held against their will. That's... That's what that's what it that's what it really boils down to because what you said is a scenario that could happen. I came all ninety five percent and I decided no, this is not for me. Mm -hmm. Was Ti and Tiny holding people against their will? Let's see what Ti has to say. Let's see. It's his wife, Tamika Harris. Hey. So as y'all could probably guess uh, or imagine. It's been extremely difficult for me to remain quiet uh, in, 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 in light of all the things that have transpired. And I that nigga talk like Yosemite Sam or, or <laughs> no, the, the, the rooster from uh, Looney Tunes. I say, boy, uh, all of Boys country. The, the egregious allegations. <laughs> this nigga stay trying to find words. This nigga mad. Um, but it's a reason for that. And I don't mind Chip saying. Simpson's prejudice against you see, country accents. person does not have any right to to criminally or civilly have you in court they had no right the best thing they could do it gets you for a defamation a defamation suit drag you in court make you pay their late legal bills we get you in court now i mean at this point man this is the, this is the point where that don't even matter to me no more okay but that's the motive, that's the strategy, that's the intention. Say a whole bunch of false stuff about you um, that get people to believe and make them come out and say, they're a liar, they're a liar, they're a liar. And then they can say, see, they call me a liar. That's defamation. Then they drag, drag you in court, get you under oath and all that. Because unfortunately right now, it doesn't matter as much what they can prove you did. It matters what you can prove you did you know what I mean? And that's just an unfortunate place that our society had made it to. But I want to be clear about one thing. Women who have been victimized deserve to be heard. Women, black women in particular, should be supported, protected, defended, uh, and uplifted. However, evil has no gender. It's <laughs> nigga, man. People with evil, evil intentions no gender. have no gender. A threat <laughs> now, this comes in all shapes it. and sizes. I would never, I mean, I would never treat a woman the same way I would treat a threat. All right? So I think that that has to be distinguished. First and foremost, I want to say, Nigga, go on. my wife, my wife is a beautiful person with an amazing spirit and a kind heart. She's a devoted mother, and she has a humble soul. <laughs> she don't deserve it. She don't deserve it. Uh, now, what we're not going to do is open up the door to my bedroom, as you shouldn't have to either. Open up the door to my bedroom for everybody to come in, chime in, and make their opinions about what we do and don't do or should or shouldn't do. But I will say this. Whatever we ever have done has been done with consensual adults. Who into what we into and like what we like. If we want something, we know exactly where to go to get it. We ain't never forced nobody. We ain't never drug nobody against their will. We ain't never held nobody against their will. We ain't never made nobody do anything. We ain't never trafficked anything. Well, truly trafficked anything. See, ah, that's why I hate T.I. I'm, I'm going to play it, but I hate T.I. for nah, that right Nah, I think there. we got the gist. Do you know it's for his, what his, you, his, like you're trying to make you're trying to come off like you're so innocent and I, I think he is innocent, but then you have to throw in the fact that you used to sell drugs. What a you, fucking cornball. You know the first Maybe the first, first the album was named ball. his hit album was named Trap Music. But what I'm saying is like you're be, you're, you're basically like looking for like people to believe that you're innocent of something and you're like I've never trafficked sex, <laughs> but I you know I never traffic you know I traffic stuff. You know what I mean? Get Maybe the fuck that's out his here, way of, of giving he, like validation. That's so corny. Say, it could he, also like, be just truth, because in I'm, the middle of him letting you know that he ain't trafficked no women, he's saying we ain't never trafficked anything, and then he realized, well, I am lying because right. I have so trafficked right. stuff. So, 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 so let me be honest. You're denying clear. you're denying sex trafficking, but you're admitting to drug trafficking. 
because, yeah, that's his because way he's already he made, done that before. The, Yo, he made, he made, he made where millions. did they find these simple ass niggas? He from? made millions of dollars off an album that said trap music. Bro, like band man. Yeah. <laughs> but we're in real life right now. We're in real life that's right real, now. He did life. that in real life. <laughs> I don't believe it. He got a multi platinum album it. called Trap I Music. I don't believe. It. I don't believe Ti sold rubber, anything. Rubber Band yeah. Man. What? I don't believe half the. I'm willing to. When I listen to Rubber Band Man, I don't listen to. The but only nigga that I think really drug sold drug drugs, drugs was Gucci Man. That's the only nigga in the rap game so I think really say, sold drugs. Somebody can say you in a different reality. T.I. didn't sell no motherfucking drugs. Man. Jay-Z definitely sold drugs. I don't know. Jay-Z ain't sell no motherfucking drugs, man. Jay-Z definitely mm. sold drugs. Okay. All right. That's definitely a whole nother show. That's a whole nother show. So, so you can't. So at that point, you can't argue with him. If he feel like only Gucci Man is the only rapper that sold drugs. Only Gucci Man. <laughs> well, how can you argue with anything <laughs> else he has to say? <laughs> so where do we stand on this, y'all? I'm just saying. You haven't said much about this topic. <laughs> when, hold, on, hold up. When I see a drug dealer, I, if it's a lineup, okay, T.I., Young Jeezy, Gucci Man, J.C., and fucking uh, Benzino. That was random. <laughs> ben Zeno, <laughs> where'd you pull that guy from? The drug dealer? Oh, it's Gucci Man. I, I, that's it. Yeah, but what? Did you just profile? Yes, you did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I'm black. I can do that. Mm. Uh, but okay. I mean, I don't know whether they did it or whether they didn't. But we all know that they some freaks in the bedroom. We've been exactly. heard that a long time ago. So. Hearing some allegations ain't surprising to me, but I really think they just trying to get some money because we've been heard that. But say the same thing about Bill Cosby, say the same thing about all of them. Till I see something in court and he locked up, I don't believe it. I don't care. So I'm not, I'm not on either side. Like I don't believe <laughs> yeah, that he did it, but I don't feel. believe that he no. didn't do it. I think for me, like I it's said, possible. Just Anything because possible. of the the tag and how serious the allegations are, I just want to make sure that if we're going to prosecute him, that it's within. You know what I'm saying? He's it's deserving. That's that's all I wanted to be. I think I think dealing with drugs and alcohol in these type of situations, people's truths can be distorted, right? Sure. sure. What can be true for one person may not be true for the other person because you're on all these type of psych, especially if you're doing Molly and all of this shit. You know what I'm saying? Is that your drug of choice? No, it's not. (laughs) Um, Like your expectations might be different than the other person. You were in Texas, so so you might have you might have different ideas of what the quote unquote truth is. You might wake up and be like, "How the fuck did I get here? What did I do?" Versus these people who who have been orchestrating these things, they know exactly what they wanted to do and they did it to you. Mm -hmm. Not not saying they preyed on you because at the time you can send it. Right, but they had a whole situation set up that was almost too good to be true for you. You wanted to come out and do drugs; they had drugs for you. You wanted to come take shots; they had it. You wanted to be around all the strippers. You wanted you wanted to be part. You wanted to be part of that life, right? And that's what it took for you to be part of that life. But when you woke up the next day, you was like, "Damn, I ain't signed up for that." I didn't know I signed up for all of that shit to be a part of that life. So the people who provided that for you, they not wrong. They said, this is what it takes to be part of that life. I think a lot of these motherfuckers got buyer's remorse. Ooh, cause the superintendent. The yes, I want remorse. you to know, they got sir, buyers, that you they have got a hole buyer's remorse. Okay. They I'll got buyer's that. remorse. Trip, we know where you stand, so. Listen, man. Let's I'm, go. I'm, I'm gonna play this one more time. Next topic. The superintendent. Yes, I want you to know, sir, that you have a whole living in the <laughs> So, Good fellas, come on, man. Y'all don't remember, y'all don't remember that? We know where you stand. Anyway, <laughs> I think the next topic whore. should be um, the whole sexualizing black women. Okay. Damn, yes. You know what? You're a leader, yo. I, I see it. I you are it. an executor. Yeah, I got you. You are an executor. When let's, it comes to talking, I can do I can. Let's talk about this you. silhouette challenge. So um, the... the the premise is that Ooh. no, 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 no. Hold on, I don't mean to cut you off, but the busted, you just cut her off. The, bus, you finish, the but, uh, busted <laughs> challenge was much more uh, impactful than the silhouette challenge. Okay, so we'll just talk about challenges right yeah. now. So right now is can we go like this when we say challenge? Yeah, I, I okay, I agree. There's with that too. nothing challenging it's about not, any it's of not shit. challenging at all. I don't know them no, old no women in their yeah. knees. That shit was no, hey, no, was no, it challenging? Yeah. It was, it was challenging. Anyway, everybody said it was challenging. It was challenging. Anyway, did you do one? Me no. Why? Why, why not? Because um, you were challenged. No, more so because like the my knees. sexuality is all in my my mystery. Like if you want to see what I'm about, you got to come see me. You know what I'm saying? And, and I I don't really I don't really do stuff for free like that. You know, y'all not fitting to get your jollies off. 
Makes sense. You know what I'm saying? For the free ninety nine. You wanna you wanna know what it's hitting on, come see the kid. That thing behind the that's paywall. A, that's what makes it a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Real life special out here. So anyway, the, the, the topic is um the question is this. Black women feel like we're being overly sexualized. However, we continue to participate in challenges that sexualize us. Um, and what are you all's opinion on that? So for me, as the only black woman on the panel, I don't feel like it's a overly sexualized thing. I, I don't I don't agree with the 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 plight. I, I feel like you can't tell people how to heal. You can't tell people how to display their confidence. You can't women tell are just people. Full of shit, man. No, let me let me finish. Let me finish for she real. She just said she want to be a mystery, but this ain't over. I, I mean, I, is I anybody else listening to this shit? Can I finish? You, you, you can't you listen can. to something I'm if sorry. I ain't talking. You got it. You got it. I'm okay, sorry. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So what I feel like with these challenges, I don't feel so, over sexualizing someone with their permission and over sexualizing someone without their permission is two different things. These challenges, I use your quotes, these challenges are me giving you my permission. However, if I'm on the street and I'm wearing a short skirt or whatever the case is, and you're like, damn, bitch, you this, da, 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 and you over sexualizing that, that's different. These are different types of things. I'm literally putting out, I'm doing all of this putting it on the internet for you to see that is me giving my permission to say look at this look at that however when when we're just out in the street and we're just doing regular stuff or whatever the case is and you all are over sexualizing that like i feel like when it comes to the term or the words over sexualized it's all subjective right like in the caribbean culture little kids little girls learn to whine at the age of five and it's not until you put it up on an American platform where they like, oh, she's dancing too sexually. She's doing too much. But in her household and her culture, it's not over sexualized because it's subjective. It's from. from but the, rape is running rampant it's, throughout it's, the Caribbean culture. Can we finish? Cultural. Can we finish? Can, I'm just can, saying. Yeah. But what does that have to do with anything? You can get raped and be that's fucked up. That, that's what you what call it. That's a Trip Simpson filibuster. You just got to keep going. It's not a filibuster. That's ridiculous. What I'm saying, me, the kids, are, over, the kids no. are sexualized and they're being treated as no, such. No, no, that's. That stop! Like you sound crazy right That's now. That's irrelevant to the. How is that irrelevant? Yeah, that sounds crazy. It's At the end of the day, my point is this: the whole over sexualizing thing is a subjective thing. It depends on who's viewing it, who to say it. I know, like little little baby girls, two year old wearing rompers with their legs out. I think those are the, such the cutest thing. And people are like, oh, don't put your daughter in that. Don't let him walk outside like that. People are raping people, and it's like she's a kid. It depends on who's who, who's viewing it. And I think that y'all over sexualize black women as it is. And my thing is the challenges are me giving consent. However, me being in the street and you going ham or saying whatever, that's not okay to me. You, you know what it is? And I think it's a communication thing, right? I don't think women know <laughs> how sexual men are. No, we do. When women are not in oh, the room, no. everything that we talk about is pretty much sex. Yeah, but that's still... Like, when I'm at work at the firehouse, like... I mean, the conversations I get, I are get just locker room talk. I get barbershop but, so, talk. So what I'm saying is the issue that I have as a man, right? Knowing how men are and knowing how my conversations are with men, I don't want my daughter walking out looking like that because I know how other men talk. But knowing how men are, so rather than teaching your sons not to talk like that, your daughters can't dress like that. Come on, come on. I, I'm not. I'm not going for that. I mean, I could teach my son not to talk like that all day, but I, I don't. I can't. I don't know what. I don't know what to do when when I'm not around him. Yeah, but the same thing with your daughters. There's girls being raped but that you, are fully You don't want to set your you don't want to you don't want to set your children up for failure. Like, but what about the people we can complain that are about being, society all day, but society is society. But what you about have the to women prepare people for society. that are raped in Middle Eastern countries and like Muslim countries, and they're fully clothed? What do you say about that? I don't have anything to do with Middle Eastern countries. But whatever they do, they do. Is, no, it's not whatever they do, they do. Because the point is, it doesn't matter what you're I just, wearing. I could care less about the Middle East. I'm you're sorry. Not, you're not going to attract rape. But you mentioned rape. Caribbean being Caribbean. Yeah, having and you're not Caribbean. Rape. She was saying that the kids are over. Or, uh, the kids are whining and shit Muslims at young age. Also get raped with full clothes on. I mean, people so. get raped everywhere, but rape is not a is not a prominent thing in those countries. So yes, it is. What not as prominent as here. Yes, now, rape is actually more prominent outside of the U.S. Yes, no, nah, but what he's saying about? is, rape in Muslim countries isn't as prominent as rape in Caribbean countries, and it isn't as prominent as rape here. Yes, it is. Rape is rape is like running rampant in the U.S. Rape is running rampant. Like there was a whole movement about the the young girls that were being raped and sex trafficked and all that other stuff in Muslim um, in Muslim countries. Like, what are you talking about? Which country? I know there was a one African country. I'm not sure all of, offhand. But I know it's it's insane right now. I know that shit's not going on in Qatar. 
That shit is not going on in fucking Saudi Arabia. No, that's because that the women's is- rights are different there. That's why it's happening, but it's 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 being shadow banned, if you will, so, because of the women's well, rights. Well, women. There. Well, you so can't. That's that's, that's not a fair. Quick. You have to compare um, uh, free economies, oh, free free women to. You can't compare Qatar and uh, United Emirates because women can't do shit over there. They and it, they're, they're basically owned. So that's basically owned. So I don't have to. Ask permission. Ask permission. If I own you, just yeah, rate was gonna be low because I own you. Oh, I don't, you just, so <laughs> there's no rape. So like it's culturally, context, though, culturally you so can't say context, no. Though. Culturally, culturally here, you can't say no. Rape has been a problem historically because you also had slave masters who would rape these slave women at the same time. And so wouldn't men, call it rape. Yeah, but men have historically, or black men have historically, had a problem protecting black women because they, they couldn't, couldn't do it prior to. Mm-hmm. So now, when you have the ability to potentially even do it, it's hard to do when what he's saying is you're out here over sexualizing yourself easily by just putting it out here on the internet for men who already see you as this over sexualized human, even when you got full clothes on. It's like, it's a lot of these women who, before they even go into the silhouette, you can already see and, and look sexualized. <laughs> and, they, and they looking at you before you even get into the silhouette. So if they can already do that, then you giving them even more leeway and access is only fucking their brains up even more to make them want to go no, do this. I this is a very, this a, hold on, this is a very important doing, question. But I just can't. This is a very important question. Do you feel like it's a problem with in the black community with rape? I, I feel like it's, do I feel like there's a problem with in rape our in community, in the black community? Um, Ooh, the voice changing. I think, I think, I think, in your, <laughs> I think in your extreme impoverished oh. situations, um, you have some issues. But I think in general, like b- black folks ain't with the rape. Thing. That's false. Molestation is huge in the black community, and that's rape. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, there's a lot you don't know, but it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. That's what I was going to say. It's hard to it's hard to even answer that question. Because yes, it is, but is it any more or less than any other culture? Because a lot of it doesn't even I mean, come out. You, you do realize white white people, people lead get. lead the league in in rapes and molestation, right? <laughs> they lead the league. Possibly. In those they lead. I don't no, know. no. I don't have it's a white by a lot, though. It's by a lot. It's by a lot. <laughs> but it doesn't mean so. Like they actually lead the league in like and just about and everything, but like <laughs> rape wise, like they're through the roof. Like we incest rape wise, we're through the roof with with like violence. But like, Wait, are we through the roof with a violent rape? Rape wise, no. Oh, I thought you were saying violent. Even though white people, right? There are more um, violent offenders mm-hmm. in, in the white community mm-hmm. than there are in the black community. Our rate is just kind of high for our population. Okay, that's fair per capita. But when it comes to rape, it's it's actually pretty low. Okay. So offhand, where do you stand with this? You feel like we're over sexualizing ourselves and it's our fault? I, I mean, we spoke on this. Um, a million times. I definitely think that 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 black answer women, the question. <laughs> I, I am. I'm, I'm doing like you. I'm giving it context. Okay. Right. That sounds like a tap dance. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, right. Hold on. What uh, a fucking. But uh, <laughs> I feel like I feel like um, yes, black women are over. Excuse me. <laughs> I feel like, I feel, we have sound effects here. <laughs> We don't got a tap dance. We need a. We I'll need get a that Fred, We need a Fred Astaire. Actually, <laughs> I feel like black women are overly sexualized, but I feel like they're doing it on purpose. They're oh, we're doing it to ourselves. No, I feel like you you you're being coached into it. Mm-hmm. Like you're being you. They're leading you into it and telling you that it's okay. That's what liberals do. Liberals coach on bad black behavior. Mm. That's what they do. Okay. They coach it on. They tell you it's acceptable. There's nothing wrong with this, Shaquisha. What? If you want to shake your ass, that's fine, name. Shaquisha. <laughs> You're a woman, Shaquisha. You have rights. You can shake your ass wherever you want. <laughs> they hype they hype black women up like that. But they don't want to sexualize themselves like that. They make you do it. No, but then the white women, they're in it and nobody bats an eyelid. There's white women doing this challenge and people are disgusted by it. That's because they don't, I mean, they're not, they're non-threatening. They don't have no ass. They don't have no swag either. And so I think it's just like. It's almost like a joke. So then there's another thing where apparently you can remove the red filter in these silhouette challenges. Some men have figured out how to do it and they've been like, oh, well, you knew what you were getting yourself into when you did the silhouette challenge. Do you all agree with that? Like if you put your silhouette challenge out there. Yes. And if you did the silhouette challenge, if you read it up on the internet. And somebody removes the red filter, you think that's okay? If they know how to do that. You put it possible? on the internet. No, but they, people didn't know this before. 
They thought that it was under like anonymity and all Anything that. Anything you do on the internet. No, 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 no. You're so you up think, for grabs. So just tell me, is do you think that it's okay? Yes, it's absolutely okay because you should you put it out, put it out on the internet. I don't know. wanted to keep the mystique, agree. didn't you? Yeah, so, the mystique. So that's why you that's didn't why do it. Women that's just, why you they, didn't do women it. Women just do whatever that's they want. Why you no didn't consequences do it. to it. No, wait a minute, y'all. Wait a minute. There's no way you're telling me that I did Life something. Life of a woman is great, man. I did something under the no anonymity, accountability. under the anonymity of a red filter. And you're telling me that when you did you just say to, anonymity of under a filter? Let, let me finish. And you've decided to remove this filter to say, well, you knew what you were getting yourself into. Do you not understand where y'all are coming from? Like, it, I didn't give you permission so, to remove no, the filter. It's, it's a violation, but you I had to be prepared for do, that violation. If, if, if so. I wanted the if I did if I wanted you to see me without the filter, I would have posted without the filter. As you, if you didn't want us to see you without the filter, you wouldn't have posted it, right? No, that's not true. Like, but you, I, that's but, not but you true want to give all. someone the idea of what you look like, like that. No, like, all it was a silhouette. It's don't a fake shadow. The, don't fake the funk. Oh, it's a shadow. Like, I don't think women know how sexualized it, men are. Yeah, but that's, that's the fucking fault. problem. Yeah, that's, trust the internet a little too. The first thing we think is like, fault. let me figure out how to take this filter off. Right. That's what just really look If I put my card information on Facebook and then I get very. That's it not is the same. my fault. That's not the same. Yes, it is. No, it's not. If yes, you put your car, if you put your car filter, oh, hold on. No, no, no. If this you put your car, come, this what you have in common. Y'all act with. like fault is only one oh. way. When women do something that's sexual, and then something as a consequence happens, is not a fault. No, but when, that but like, if I put I my card it. information, and this, this is only like literally because it's the internet. Once you put it out there, it is done. Your card information you put, you expect it to be private. No, you don't that's expect to different. get hacked. That's but different. if you do it and you get hacked, PSA. it's a problem. But that's life like happens. me walking out in my full clothes and you got on x ray glasses. Like, well, you knew what you were doing when P you came out. You're running your full clothes. PSA. No, but y'all, no, no, I'm not okay PSA. with that. No. PSA. I think this internet that we dealing with, if PSA. you put it on this internet that you we wildin'. are talking about, you're <laughs> wild. You gotta understand. No. I have to impart some wisdom on you, right? The very best man that you know in your life, if you say this is the very best guy morally that I know, right? He's a creep. I'm hip. The very best man that you but know. But it doesn't mean so that it's okay. If the very best man that you know so is we a just, creep. Hold on, hold on. The boys will be boys. No, it's this avenue? is not this is not a boys will be boys avenue. You have to assume every man under that it gets worse when you go down. <laughs> boys, so, boys. so if you decide, you so you gotta gotta take the top. You gotta take. No. And then you got the real creep. <laughs> the very best man you know is a creep. No. In his in his private no. time, his circle with his man's. He's a creep. No, y'all are giving. He, no, no, boys that, will be boys. No, understand that no, men are creeps. No, 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 no. Don't put yourself out there because men are no, creeps. Let me no. run. Let me run it back. No. The very best man you know is a creep, <laughs> and it gets worse as you go down. So if you do not want to put yourself in that position, like the internet is a voluntary thing. If you never put anything, upload anything, nobody will ever see it. Simple it will not exist. But if I've done it in a way that is to protect me, whatever that looks like, if I want to be sexual, there is no way. But that's <laughs> you, tr you trust TikTok. You, no. you, you got to know. There is no way. No, I'm not okay with you that. Have, I'm but, not okay with that. But that's like being dressed fully. You don't. No, no, you no, don't, don't have like to be. You don't have to be picture. okay with it. That's like me uploading a picture fully clothed, and you know how to re remove the clothes in the picture. You can't but do that's that. Not the same but thing. That's, it is. That's what it sounds like to me. Like let me tell you why that's not the same thing. It is. If I've done this with a filter for you purposely not to see it, can I tell you why that's not the same thing? The blessed. The blessed. Hold on, hold on, hold on, challenge. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know, know what you were doing. Let me tell you why it's not no. the same thing. Because it's still just a silhouette. You could put it on tights and all of that and do that same challenge, and we will only see a silhouette. If you did that silhouette challenge with no clothes on too, then that's on you. And now whatever no. filter comes down and what people see. Oh, they was doing it with no on, clothes on? That's what I'm saying. Like you saying but, uh, see that creep, filter, they see the creep the, 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 jeans that kicked in. Google's, I've seen, I've seen, Google's <laughs> are about to stop. <laughs> I've seen multiple. Like sometimes you can see like what it looked like with the clothes on, without the clothes on, all that. So you can tell who does and who doesn't. But even still, if you went that far as to do it when it's only a silhouette, you got tights and all that type stuff in the in the joint. If you chose to do it without that, then you chose to trust yeah. these social media platforms. You ain't trust you're not mad at these guys who are able to like figure that shit out. Like and why would you do that? It. You're but just mad at these that? social media Listen, platforms because you, you can't trust leave them too a much. red starburst around me. It ain't gonna last too long. <laughs> you know <laughs> <they trust> you. <laughs> so look 
I'm you, taking off the rapper. Hold on, so you got to realize, <laughs> eighty, I'm not okay with eighty that. to you ninety. See how many chocolates I ate? Because they sitting right here in front of me. Like, <laughs> look, 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 eighty. So to wait nine. a minute. That means y'all can't control your urges. Listen, no, is that look, what I'm hearing? Eighty to ninety. Eighty. Let's hold on. Apparently hold on. not. This is very important. No, 80, no, no, no. Wait a minute. Eighty to ninety percent of all oh. men's activity. You got trip sips and facts over there. Is related to no, no. This is no. This is what you say. No, this is proven. You don't be on these internet. Eighty to ninety percent of men's activity is related to sex. Oh yeah. But then, what, even, yo, what, even when yeah, we're buying shoes, yeah. right? We like, yo, the bitches this love these shoes. Like, where we live, <laughs> yeah, what we wear, where we go, the car we it's drive, necessary. it's related to sex. So when you be like, well, At I some don't point understand true, how men are sexualizing, you got to have to... Everything it's probably more than half the niggas is on Instagram because they trying to find some sex. It's so, not that we don't understand why. <laughs> it's not that we have Boxes. No, Half no, no. the niggas is on Instagram. Yeah, is yeah, so you ever looked at the average the average nigga comments on Instagram? Oh, I hate that's it. horrible, they're man. Like, I hate oh, it. boo, you looking real good. Oh, that swimsuit all over your ass. That it. water dripping all over your body. <laughs> like <laughs> the average comment is some creep the creepiest shit. But it doesn't make it okay. So so you gotta realize if you swim f- with the sharks and you get bit, don't and you feed bl- the machine, and man. you blame the shark. They gonna look back at you. You know you were swimming with sharks, right? Nah, that's not okay. So, so well, they should have been be boys. They should have been trying to change the yeah, society. Swimming, so, so we're saying boys will be boys. Sharks will be sharks. Boys will be sharks. Boys will be boys. You try to act like that's niggas are not animals. No, no, no. Let, let me humans let me understand are animals. This. Let me understand it. Sharks will be sharks. Boys will be boys. That's your plight. What do males? You of all people on this panel, time. that's your plight right now. So boys will be boys. Hey, she tried I, to have, I have an understanding. I have an understanding. No, no, no. I have an understanding of physically, mentally, emotionally, how we are as men. Okay. Boys will be boys. And and if you don't understand that and you put yourself in positions and and then expect, well, why did men act like this? Men have always acted like we are, we, are, we are almost I give her one better. I give her one better. We are almost I give you one better. The best we are in society right if, now. I men are like that. peak men. If I go out here terrible. tonight, right? <laughs> if I go out here tonight, meet a woman, have sex with her, no condom, get her pregnant, right? And she's a hood rat, right? And I'm in in ten minutes from now, I'm in child support court. What are you gonna say to me? Oh, you should have known better. I'm not gonna say that. I mean, I'm gonna say take care of your I mean, uh, you should have known better. You knew she was gonna take you to court. That's in their nature. What? It's in their nature. I, I can't their go court. sign that one. What? That's in their nature. <laughs> <laughs> I jump what? off the boat on that one. Yeah. <laughs> and this, this, what I'm saying is nobody this, this feels sorry spoke. for men. Nobody feels sorry for men <laughs> when we make mistakes. What? Right? When we make mistakes that are devastating, nobody's like, oh man, how could they do that to you? We just have to live with it as men. But the way y'all are saying this is if like if you oh, get on Instagram butt naked, trusting the filter, and they take off the filter, you got to live with it. But, they, but what if saying well, hold like, on? What if tomorrow all of the 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 uh, joints that use that filter? What if that filter just like deleted off of social media and now everybody's <laughs> joint is just on there it's clear with no social too. media? It was men doing it too. I, and them too. They're gonna suffer too. So, My but, point but, but is, y'all trusted this filter. So, Don't be mad at the the hacker that was able to like figure that no, out. So you, know. you what you said was that understand that men are creeps understand that y'all are putting yourself in this position so women that wear tight clothing and short skirts we should understand when we get cat call we should understand when things go left because first of all nobody wearing. cat calls anymore. I knew that was yes, where they was do. where the hell are you yes, at niggas where do. you walking yes, at yes they do you're not a woman so nah, you don't niggas know. do cat oh, you calls. Where, you, where you nah, walking at in matter. the pandemic nah exactly. niggas do niggas still do cat calls they still cat calls they cat calls I'm a grown ass man what the fuck I look like cat calling somebody they still do the hey hey white shirt so hold on old heads the young dudes so hold on this is the difference but you know what though some women don't even get cat called and they feel bad about that <laughs> do we, how, what do you want look at uh, what was her name what was the curry Aisha, Aisha curry. curry and then what do you want from us you you leave you alone because you're married you're mad you, you get cat called you're mad women don't know what they want man. oh no nah, she know what she wanted you see her new look she knew what she, she wanted she got a whole new look on y'all she, she knew what she wanted because nobody so, she wanted, the, she but wanted she, the cat call but that's because she's also up under the thumb of her husband who's extremely famous she gets no he, attention he, he goes, I, thought I thought you were she different i thought you were different she gets no attention i don't care i don't care no attention no let's let's not let's not so go, she needs let, the attention. Let's not get away. Yes, who let's not get away from. I don't get this. Let so the niggas give you attention. Hey, hey, mama. But hey, it's a sweetheart. Blah, blah, blah. Respectful attention and cat calling attention. That's two different types of attention. What's respectful attention? You a married woman. Like you look nice today. I can say. I can say as a married hey, man, look, you look nice today. Look, I can look, say look, that look, right. Look, but look. if I'm all over you, like okay, let's trip, keep it a hundred. Okay, trip. I'm all over you. That's not disrespectful. That's a difference. Let's. I'm sure your wife would feel a difference. 
Okay. Let's keep it a hundred. Let's keep it all the way one hundred. Right? About what you're saying. Um, is a woman allowed or able to wear tight clothing, revealing clothing? Wear something that she feels sexy in, right? Mm -hmm. Because men are creeps. Sharks Key will word, be sharks. Sexy. So don't know. Yeah. Sharks so, will be sharks. When you, look sexy. when you wear that, right? You feel sexy, right? Sure. So that term sexy, that's not a it applies to the sex, the Maybe, opposite sex. What if I feel beautiful? How about that? It's too late. You already said sexy. You said sexy. He asked you three times. <laughs> you said sexy. He asked you three yeah. fucking times. So when you say I'm going out sexy. <laughs> that was a good setup that, too. That's too. It's no way to run. Yeah, that implies the opposite sex is involved because you're not attracted to women and you don't want women to be attracted to you. That's so not that, true. I will okay, say this. Well, I have five sisters and yeah. I do know. Women dress like. Part of the way women dress is to like. They can Compete be like fuck you to women. these hoes. Yeah. But, I get that. but it's not but it's not an attraction thing. You don't want that. You right. can say I want to shit on you just like a nigga will buy a Benz over a Hyundai cuz he want to shit on his little brother or his cousin or his big homie. They used to shit on him back in the day. It's like, nigga, I'm riding big now. I'm shitting on you. So, it's the same principle, but it's not <laughs> Who's buying Benz? Yeah, That's a but I don't, concept too. But, yeah, but I don't but I don't want my big homie to be attracted to me, right? But what? as far as a woman is concerned, if you say I want to dress sexy, it's a certain man that you want to attract no, no no if you think that i'm putting on this dress because i think niggas is gonna be look niggas i didn't look know regardless. i didn't say niggas you know what? i said it's a certain Men man are gonna it's look a, regardless it's a That's certain a no it's a certain man out there. Trifling. we be yeah. at work not that me listen <laughs> but <laughs> Men look Niggas regardless. be at work like, damn, you can see that ass through the work pants. Yeah, exactly. So it doesn't matter. No, no. But, what I, but no. But if the right, if <laughs> that, terrible, if yo. the right man that you're attracted to approaches you while you're quote unquote with your sexy thing, you know what I'm saying? It's not a problem. If that guy that that guy that uh, uh, at work that you had a crush on, <laughs> right? If he speaks to you in a certain way, because I've witnessed this with a woman uh, is working with a man that she's attracted to, her her upkeep just, it gets a little better. Her pants get a little cuter. Her smells get a little better. Hair get a little better. She's doing things to attract that to man. Get to, yeah, to be noticed by that man. Mm -hmm. So if the the fat raggedy nigga noticed you at the same time that you was trying to get noticed by the other man. Being that's a that's the that's a consequence to no, so what the situation okay. is. Being noticed isn't the issue, but the approach is. You can come up to me and say, "Hey, you look nice today," but you ain't gotta say, "Damn, that ass in them pants." So, damn, I'm trying to see what you hitting on. But that's only ignorant ass nigga. But that's, but that's the that's thing. Not, well, maybe, maybe. But that's true. a prayer. But it at happened. This, but, at this, but at this point, it's, no, it's a percentage is, of them stop niggas catching stuck. the green line. <laughs> All right, stop catching the green line. No. That's your problem. You no. go to the Seven Eleven. No, you, no, you, no, you have to, you have to recognize that if that's the route, that just bad, if that's the route is that if that's the route to choose, there's a percentage of men out here who cannot control themselves and they're dirty, you low dress like you getting on the green line, Because no. I know, because I have a variety of women friends. Some women are at the top of the spectrum where they're going to dress how they want to dress, regardless. And they're gonna take what comes with that. I have women on the spectrum that wear mom jeans, baggy clothes, and niggas still. Creeps. With, but no, but what I'm saying is they they experience something different versus. I'll use you for example. You mm -hmm. wear tight fitting stuff, right? Yes, I do, baby. So I have <laughs> friends who have a body like you. They hide their body. You're I'm the opposite. You you say, all right, I, this is me. I'm going to accentuate it and I'm prepared to deal with what comes with this because I'm strong. I can, you know, I can handle myself. Another one be like, I'm not going to do this because I don't want the attention that comes with it. It's a conscious decision because they understand what world they live in, what men are around them. First, I don't listen, I don't, to, I don't listen to none saying, of these I'm women. not saying if they're right or wrong, I don't but they recognize where women. they are. I don't get dressed worried about what niggas are going to say. Let I don't get dressed something. thinking like, well, some women do because they don't want the attention. It's going to come regardless. If you got a, that's nah, thing. If you got a pretty different. face, it's coming regardless. So that's another thing. Well, what Maybe if they're they not pretty and they got fat well, ass? that's on them. That's on them. See? I can't. Hold on, hold on. Y'all see what they need to blame their maker. Yes, they need to blame their maker. No, I'm talking about in terms of the lack of attention that they're getting. They need to blame their maker. But you said it don't better. matter. No, that's not what I'm saying. She Stop she twisting my words. Blame maker on the ass. I can't help that. Like, if if you're not getting attention, you ugly. Blame your ass. Listen, that's that's your lineage. I don't have nothing to do with so that. So you discriminate against the ugly women, just I, like we that. discriminate no. against them. No, no. You what, just did. No, what you said. No. no. And I hold on. Well, let me no. let the bomb go. And I quote, "That's what them and their maker." No, oh, because that's on, you're no. Saying, you said they ugly. That's on them. I no. You said. <laughs> 
What about the women that don't get attention? That's a no, lot of I guys. said, what about the women who hide their bodies and, and still to avoid the attention? But I'm saying, I you can say hide your, no, you can hide your body and still get attention. That doesn't matter. So I'm going to no, sleep. you say what about the pretty face? That means you discriminate against because the women who you don't aren't caught on quite pretty. No, bodies matter more than faces. Listen, but what I'm saying is, I can walk out in a trash bag and still get attention. It is what it is. Also, energy niggas be attracted to whoa, energy whoa, 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 whoa. too. Mm -hmm. A trash bag? Listen, I don't make the rules. I mean, if anybody walked in the house with a trash bag, they get attention. But I'm just saying, <laughs> so I can walk out. Bag. Who's this bitch in the trash bag? <laughs> I can walk out in baggy clothes and all of that and still get attention. What you're wearing, it, it doesn't dictate the creep level. Creeps are creeps. Oh, yes, it does. Women no, are creeps, too. No, it doesn't. Where, where's Hold some, on. And where's some gray sweatpants that go to the goddamn no, grocery whoever, store? Whoever then, whoever Women won't even look you in your eyes. <laughs> whoever invented, they don't leg look you whoever invented eyes. leggings... They deserve a Nobel Peace Prize, women a million dollars. Like, women, I've been smacked so, on my ass by women. I've been like, people, women are very touchy feely. Women are more look, aggressive than men. It's insane. Somebody, some, a woman in this room told me I better not wear no gray sweatpants. That's a, it. It matters. It makes a fucking difference what you got on. Yeah, it definitely makes a difference. It, people are creeps regardless. You can have your ankles covered, whatever. You gonna still get creep attention. It doesn't <sighs> matter. It does not matter. I'm telling you, as a woman, I can promise you, you walk in front of the 7-Eleven looking crazy as hell, and they still going to be like, damn, baby girl, you, yeah, you you really wearing them pants. Hey, you be going to some ratchet places. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> Bumps in front of the 7-Eleven The green line <laughs> Bumps in front of the 7-Eleven Y'all don't go to the 7-Eleven? Hell no I go to the 7-Eleven Y'all don't go to the gas station? Psh, fuck no I go to the gas station I was gonna say <laughs> Y'all know uh, Come on now And, they and be I definitely everywhere. go to 7-Eleven <laughs> They be everywhere So I said all that to say Like when it comes to sexualizing people Well at least they sexualize Niggas keep asking me for money When I go to 7-Eleven they do that next That's coming next They try to give but you a compliment nothing. first See that's the thing They try to psychology you Give you a compliment Get you on their side And then ask for money I'm tough on them old niggas though. Get your old ass a job nigga Yeah so Anyway creeps are gonna be creeps I get that but Where do, it, where do women congregate Like the grocery store no, actually, that's a good question. I'm gonna test this theory. We cannot wear gray sweatpants. Go to the grocery store. I'm telling you, this theory. Won't no Just woman sleep. look you in the face. They all they look you straight at dick. I don't. I don't. That's what they do, man. That's what they do. I don't. Because I don't I want you catching tight. Me looking. I wear the tight ones. Go go to the grocery store Gray sweatpants No drawers No it's wait, Why would you do that Why would you wear no drawers And it just Just let that in? shit hang out there Why would you, Why do y'all Why, do, why do y'all go from the gym Straight with the Lulu lemons That did lift your shit Just right. the right way Camel With no, with no drawers on But you it's can't tell thing. You can't tell How big Something like Dick size And like I don't know, y'all. That's 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 a that's hey, a reach for me. The pussy protrudes sometimes. Yeah, but you can't tell what it's hitting on. You don't know what it's giving. A, you can tell penis it's, size. It's there. That's all that matters. It's there. I'll take that. I'll take that. It's it's. But y'all uh, not taking leggings away, so y'all can have y'all gray sweats. We don't. Now, want, I don't have that, no that's the difference. So. We don't, don't want to take any of this sweat. I told you the person who invented leggings deserves a Nobel Peace Prize. We want to live in an open and free society where everyone in, is free to uh, express their. Uh, <laughs> I feel like leggings should be admiration. mandatory. Well, for what leggings, it's worth, and, leggings and sundresses should be mandatory. For what it's worth, I think it's okay to, to wear what you're going to wear. I don't think that you get to over-sexualize. That's like people getting to tell you that, oh, well, you participate in a violent sport, so when I treat you like a violent human, you know what I'm saying, be okay with that. Like, I, I'm not okay with that. Yo, you're on point tonight. Speaking of violent sports. I got you. You see what I did there? Speaking of violent sports. Listen. What did you do there? <laughs> watch, watch this. Your motherfucking president... Your president. I'm looking at you, nigga. <laughs> Your president. See, women can play with men. Your president. I voted green. Has signed it. Didn't we already expose this lie? Yeah. <laughs> we already exposed this I lie. I voted green. So yeah. I'm not, we, I shouldn't even go down this road. So. We know who you I want to start with you. Joe Biden um, signs an executive order. Um, basically giving a federal mandate on men. Who consider themselves women to play in women's sports, Mister Digital? How do you feel about that? I'm on the fence about um, transgender and sports, just because of the nature of the physicality of it, um, especially contact sports, like when it comes to like wrestling, when it comes to 
Um, or even track. Yeah, even uh, because <laughs> track, imagine track niggas are killing yeah, it in women's track. Yeah. Bruce yeah. Yeah. <laughs> imagine if it was Bruce yeah. Jenner versus a bunch of women. Yeah, yeah so, like every time. Um, so when well, it comes, Hussein, if he decided, like you know what, I'm just right. gonna I'm put a wig on and just beat the yeah. shit out of these hoes. So when it comes to that, I think, I think they can still participate, but it needs to be like an asterisk or like some type an asterisk. of no, not. I'm nah, that's real. So I feel like that's how they be, did baseball it, yeah, with the steroids. Yeah, it could be a solution to the problem, right? I think people should still be able to identify with what, yeah, with they, what, what they want to identify this with. This is fucking ridiculous. But, <laughs> Asterix, she but, had a dick. But <laughs> we had we, but you we don't under, even want that. Dick. We under we understand how <laughs> testosterone plays a part in the success of sports right that's why we have separate men's and women's track and field separate men's and women's uh, so there is a difference between men and women there is a such thing as a man and a woman so i just said that biologically i just said that according to science i just said that so it's it's actually a difference between male and female uh men and women is a social construct created by human beings so if we're talking about males should play with males females should play with females if we're going to categorize them especially dealing with records scholarships things of merit you have to make the the difference if someone is biologically a male and they're competing against females they deserve an asterisk in terms of their competition i i wholeheartedly i I agree with that but in terms of should they be allowed to do it i mean let them do it but just but just but just they need to know say let's say you win the race what about boxing (laughs) you gonna let it you gonna let a full grown-ass man beat the brakes off so dude so is that a thing i don't know if that's a thing mike mma yeah mma the the, the, the transgender mma chick was beating the brakes off bitches like bloody to a bloody pulp i didn't know about that Yo, this shit is ridiculous. This yeah, is out of this okay. world. I think what happens when your sons and daughters are trying to compete in high school and stuff like that to get their scholarships? So, but, but that's but that's what I'm saying. I'm saying in terms of like track and field and things are like that. Like the if you're a transgender um, and you're born a male, your time should be compared to the male's time, not the female. So you time. should run with or, the fucking or, males or vice versa. Then a run nigga, with the men a nigga cross your daughter up and break her ankle, like literally break her ankle. Hey, D I'm up, hopping baby. on the court. Get low, D up. I'm, ho- I'm hopping on the court. Did no, no, no. cross your door there? You gonna hop on the court? No, no, I'm still no. in that nigga, man. Does he cross her up? If her ankle is broken. Well, you have to well, carry your hold own. on. Well, you gonna carry your daughter well, off hold first, on. or you gonna steal that nigga first? No, well, well, imagine, well, imagine, well, imagine, well, imagine, when we grew up in DC. Imagine a nigga dunking on your daughter. Right. <laughs> hold on. First of all, Bow. we grew up. We grew up in DC where we had a proliferation of women that played. I mean. Ovaries in your face. Did we have? Hold on. Matter of fact, we played on a team where we had a girl on our team. That's football, playing football. Though. She was good though. We had a girl on I our had team. A transgender Ain't nobody really school. hit Michelle. That was. Oh, that was oh, I'm naming names. <laughs> we had no. We had two girls on our team. Matter of fact, I, had, I, had I remember the one girl, the one girl that played with us, Michelle, and but the, the last line. name was Boxdale, and her brother played. So. We've had girls Shout out play. To Ashley. Yeah, she did her thing. Yeah, yeah. I had yeah. girls on my baseball team. We so so Ashley who? Oh, we don't need to call her. Out. But I she knew she was a girl though. Team, though. But, but what I'm probably, saying is, men and women have participate in sports together. Together so, is so, different but, but than we're, against. But we're talking about if we're talking about the comp, the actual competition piece, which I feel like was the most uproar about it, that these men were winning, right? Whatever happens, your time or your thing needs to be compared to. The that's best male of your sport I, because te- because I feel like te- I think te- that's misogynistic. I think that women should have their sports. Yeah, come on, man, they should have it. But well, I don't. So if you won't compare his time to the to the highest male's time, then just make him race a male. So we Wait, race him with your wig on. Like so, if you're saying they need to go compete against men because they're transgender. It or make, make a transgender league where all transgenders I'll take that. can just have it out. I'll, yeah. I'll take that. So that could be a discussion. I think there's a solution to this problem that we haven't quite reached. The yet. solution is not putting it's a not man putting in women's women. sports. That's fucking ridiculous. Regardless of what the feminists say, we are not equal. We are not equal. Well, the feminists I, I, are complaining about it now, even though this is what they wanted. Yeah, we are not no, equal. No, no, I, I agree. Testosterone matters in sports. Everybody knows it, that. That matters. Everybody so, knows that. So... I think they should be able to compete. I just think we need we haven't found come the right. Out with, I think we you come out we with co-ed sports. Yeah, yeah, we haven't found the right solution yet. 
I'll take you, you got men's sports, you got women's sports, and then you got co ed. So men, co-ed. women, and transgender. But is there, is there a market for that? Do you think are people going to no. pay to see that? Nobody wants to see kickball. women get beat to a pole. But kickball is not on ESPN in the sense that it's making money. Oh, yeah. I mean, but neither is the WNBA. I mean, it's because like, it's certain. It's certain. Yeah, it's, it's, it's certain. They, it's they certain, certain they're there and you watch them, but it ain't because they dare to like make profits. I mean, we've already seen this. Juana Man showed you that it's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> Water man showed you. But what happens when he can't make it in the male league and he decides I'm transgender now and goes to the women's That's league all they're gonna do. And starts. But we that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. We need we need a solution. But this is still America. Has, Everybody's a capitalist. Yet. Everybody's looking to get over. It's just gonna be a bunch of niggas that's probably straight with wigs on playing women's sports. I don't think so. Kirk, how do you get up during the show? <laughs> well, this is not <laughs> live, it. so we can always edit this out. Yeah, no, then I you mean, can't say nothing important while you're gone. So well, that's his fault. So <laughs> being so, we gotta understand being labeled as transgender in America is nothing easy about it. They don't. It's really easy. No, it's actually not. It's you easy. could just wake up and say, "Yo, I'm a woman." So living as that's a tra- easy. So living as a transgender and America, wigs are cheap. It's not. It's wigs not are easy. Cheap. They are discriminated against, murdered at a very right. high rate, especially black transgender. So murdered at a high rate, the highest rate. Well, you can't tell a motherfucker you're a woman and you're not, you not a woman. We're not talking about why it happens. We're talking about what's that happened. Happen. Hey, that man. it happens. If you so, tell somebody that you're a woman and you're so not a woman this, and, so and this they is, have sex with you and you get murked. This is context based upon uh, everybody's, like just, everybody's just, everybody's just going to go switch and be transgender for the purposes of winning at sports. They're not. Did you see Juana they, Man? They're did absolutely. We're talking about a fictional movie. <laughs> so... <they're not. laughs> So, did you see Airbud? Did you see Airbud? Did you see Beethoven? Did you see Space Jam? Did you see Space Jam? Angels in the Outfield. Did you see Angels in the Outfield? So, in reality, um, Juana Man was a pioneer. This this thing can be fixed because this is new. This is the first generation that actually accepts transgender people really into society so you're going to have growing pains dealing with people matriculating through society so i think within the next 10 years we're going to find a fix whether it's co-ed sports whether it's transgender whether it's putting i'd watch putting, it. putting yeah a, a, maybe a whole league for them or like i said certain, football. yeah certain oh, certain sports certain like track and field certain things where they judge by their biological versus who they are socially they want to be judged by the content of their wig Oh, not <laughs> you, sure, you sure? You sure? You sure? Out of muddy the waters. Yeah. That's what Doctor King was saying. Right? <laughs> I want you to be judged by the content of your wig, not the cells in your body. <laughs> not the cells in Terrible you. person. I, I don't think Doctor King was saying that. Doctor King was pretty smart. Yeah. Do- I think Doctor King was Dr. saying. Like next question. I think Doctor King would say, um, you know. Male and female uh, is, is biological. Business. Man and woman is social. So people get to identify with the whoever the fuck they want to identify with. Just because you hit the so button don't mean it's not true. Female, but you can you be think a man. Dr. King would say that? Yeah, I would. I do think he would say that. Everybody's so idealistic about Dr. King. So you could be Dr. a man. King wouldn't say no shit like that. But you could be you know a female. What would Malcolm X say? Huh? You said so you could be a man, but you could also be a female. So what? So what's fact about science? Male and female. <laughs> Here we go with science. Is, I love this. Science <laughs> it has to do with XX or XY chromosomes. I know. Man and woman is a social construct created by people. That like so, animals don't know man and woman. They know male and female because they're not men and women. They are female deer and male deer or female. deer and doe. Oh, yeah. My nigga. So, but then we talk about biology. What do you? What do you? So, what do you say to someone who's born with both parts? A hermaphrodite. Get out of here, you weirdo! So, but we had to create that that. socially. Mm -hmm. So, that that's that's something that's called a birth defect. No, no, no. It is. It's something that we had. No, it's something. It's a birth defect. It could be a birth effect. So it has to. You have to. You you even have to have a certain mentality to say it's a defect because someone's going. If you're born if you're born with a half an arm, nigga, you are. It's a birth defect. You gotta call a spade a motherfucking spade. So like, it's so unfortunate hold on, hold on. that so you was born if, with if, that. If defect. somebody is born with both parts, like depending on where they're born in society, let's say they were born two hundred years from now, it might be an evolution that somebody's born with both parts. It matters where you are. So they might be human, the prominent. It, 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 like it matters where you are born in human society. So because different societies classify 
hermaphrodite. Some looked down upon him. Some of them was like they exalted him, held him up because they were something special. So the social aspect, what we all agree in within our social structure, it matters how we treat somebody or how we treat. Man, I would never women, treat anybody female. wrong based on who they are. What I'm saying is, some things are and some things aren't. But but we have, if you we have are a woman, we have if you are a woman, you cannot be a man. So we have to. If we, you are a man, you cannot be a woman. So we have to collectively agree on what's male and what's female, right? So I always cite this. This uh, they have a. It's Can a group. It's, it's a group. It's a group of human beings, right? Um, <laughs> it's it's, a, it's a, in in an Indonesian <laughs> island, right? Where at puberty. The girls turn from girls to boys. They literally grow dicks. What's the name? At a, at What's, a the name What's the name they of this? They grow. They. I don't. I don't remember. We can Google it right now. So, somebody, uh, somebody in the audience, Google it. But they literally turn from audience. girls. They <laughs> First of all, we gotta wake them up. <laughs> hey, 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 but Sam. hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. Hey, Sam. Hey, Steve. Get the audience. Google. But they literally. <laughs> hey, Sam, we need you to Google something. But they literally. They literally. Hey, Sam, wake up. It, it's, a, it's a genetic. It's a genetic effect that affects their that human. Because they were isolated So it affects that group of people I don't they, know about these magic li- niggas li- you listen, about. listen to what I'm saying They literally turn from girls to boys at puberty Because their hormones kicked in Because we gotta acknowledge first All babies are born female first Yes all babies are born female first. So That's if why we are dominant. Yeah, if we don't add a chromosome, every every baby on the earth will be a female. Your God. Yes, go on. So these the girls turn to boys at puberty. They grow dicks, they grow hair, they grow facial hair. All of these things happen. So you Do gotta they work? Huh? Do they work? Yeah, it works. They in the Dominican Republic. Yeah, it works. It definitely works. So <laughs> you gotta understand that. M- Male and female is biological. Man and woman is social. Okay, so I'll you would treat a you, d- how genetic you, disorder, but it's still so it happens. So, okay. th- and, but, but what it's it's like how you socialize a child. You get a girl, you buy him girl clothes. Okay, you got a boy, you give him a football. You give him boy. You're socializing them to understand who they are. You just like uh, 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 the the right wing and and radical people are in uproar when. Like a, a white person adopts a black kid and put a dress on. They like they're socializing. It's them not just to, the right wing. I'm a little upset about that too. I, I, said, like I said radical left too. Like I don't, I don't, I don't necessarily agree with all those things. But what I'm saying is, you can socialize a kid the way you want to socialize them because it's a social thing. Sex and gender are two different things. Okay, I, I, I'll just I say like this, man. If you're a man and, and 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 you get to the point where you want to chop off your dick. Right Go ahead and talk about your dick And then Understand Years later When you have no dick Right And you got this blood Flowing to a certain place And you can't Meet that need Don't Blame society Saying Transgenders have the Highest suicide rate You're killing yourself Because you're missing something Okay But so So you gotta realize This this shit is all biological When you see a fat ass And your dick at heart It's biological so if that person's hormones when they decide like but, but, I see the fat ass no 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 let even, me finish. Oh, no, nah. I, I, I want to clarify this before you go somewhere else okay. even if you're a person who considers themselves gay right if you see a guy that you like and you're gay that same blood circulates to your dick without your dick you're missing something so so those are different hormones affecting different things no what so, I'm telling you is that you can, man, you can you can a tell me that, but if that you're does. a male, you need your dick. If you chop your dick off, you're you're probably gonna kill yourself because one day you're gonna realize, damn, I really needed that. I mean, so if you look at the actual suicide, I don't give rate, a fuck. Too. So is it? Hold on, hold on, no, no, <laughs> no. You said it like it was a fact. You said it was it like is a fact. A fact. No, you. But we gotta look at it numbers. Is a fact. So is is it more than half of transgenders do they kill themselves after they have the surgery? I don't know, man. They don't. It's maybe know. less than five percent. I, I know this, man. It's less I, than. I, so are you? So I'm are you sim- putting a fact on less than the less than the five percent of ones who actually I make the surgery? I sympathize with the transgender community because with my job, I run into a lot of people who are transgender, and unfortunately, the ones that I do run, run into are dealing with all type of psychological Depression. traumas, especially in the black community. Most of the transgenders um, that I come across, especially the ones in DC who are black. Became that way Through traumas that they uh, um, hey, yeah. Came through in jail A lot of them 
a lot of them have HIV. A lot so of them. is it a lot, most, or the ones you ran into? A lot of the ones he ran into. I would say about 80% of the, the, the transgenders in DC who are black are former inmates. And they choosing all the struggles. Not only are you Ooh. black, you also homosexual and you transgender. Like you so, choosing all so the struggles. So you think someone would choose that? Yo, like willingly, listen, like for, for someone who's so involved in the transgender community, I I, I challenge you to this. Hey. There's a company, well, there's an organization called Hips. They got one on um, Ninth and H, and they got one by Howard University on Georgia Avenue. Mm-hmm. Go visit those facilities. I think and go see and, and tell me if I'm crazy. I think the next the you next time we talk, I, 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 I want to talk in statistics because y'all be making up shit. Y'all don't be know what y'all talking about ahead of time. So it's say fair. more than half of trans. Oh hold on, this nigga got Google. He better than us. I mean, I'm just saying. I don't want to waste my time talking. Y'all don't know because y'all really don't be knowing it ain't that I'm better. It's just that. Who's y'all? Really I, asked, I just asked. Do you? You know? came up no, with no, an 80 no, 90 no. number yeah. earlier that that was a little about what about what y'all literally either don't say numbers or yell out numbers that you don't know are factual. I feel like Google. I don't and yell out numbers Because niggas wrong. get Google that shit I later know. You did I earlier know. And that's all I'm doing right here And this is the point Because you did ask a question And so here's the answer okay. It says more than half of Transgender male teens Who participated in this survey That, that the human rights um, campaign Did reported attempting suicide In their lifetime More than half Right. My bullshit numbers were right. Yeah, so hold on. 30, 30% of trans- I said, hold on. Hold on. Let him read the rest of it. He said more than half that participate in this particular yeah, 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 human yeah, right. That's a but sample size. That's but how yeah, they work. It's still a sample size, number one. And number two, it was more than half of the transgender males because he did say specifically the males. It was 30% of the transgender females and then 40% of the non-binary, like the ones that don't. So that's not. That's going to be way less than 50%. That's going to take you down to about 25%. Bro, no. what I'm saying is Why a lot it? of these people have issues 30, that they're dealing 50, with, bro. 40? 30 was the females, for one. Okay. He said the males only because he's talking about losing your dick. Over 50% of those is what she said. So that was true. So I'm who saying. conducted this study? And then the for, the human rights campaign. He just can't take and then this. The, I know. No, and then the forty two percent. The forty two percent. I said all this. Right. No, they know, they talk shit right. about this all the time. I say I got a journalism degree. You got to ask who's this the source. You got every degree. You got, you got, he got every source. goddamn degree. He diagnoses two. children. Yeah, only cite two. Hold on. This nigga every, oh, oh, <laughs> The nigga died. No. God damn. Only cite two that's relevant. Psychology and journalism. My bad, Queen. They just happen to go together. Y'all so see I, just, I just asked for the I just asked for the source. Who is the source? Yeah, the Human Rights Campaign. The H-I-C. Hum- H-I-C. This nigga got the every degree, bro. Remember this nigga one time one his, podcast his, and he said he had four different studies degrees. that he didn't do. <laughs> he had a degree in journalism. Than human rights I, I said I got journalism and psychology, and they just archaeology. <laughs> <laughs> he said, he said I could diagnose children, children because of my my uh, certificate that I got. So we're about to end psychology. the show at some point. So before we do, oh, I said that, is that that time? I didn't even change the music yet. It's beyond that time. It's the end. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's that time of the show. Keep them topics right there so I can do mine. And um, you can't never remember the damn topics. <laughs> I'll be talking about so much. We had three topics. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get these final thoughts popping. And you get to go first. You still oh, No, no, it's with. Hazel now. Uh-huh. She's first. I used to go first. It's I don't go first no more. I mean, uh, no, it's Hazel? too late. It's too late. It's too late. I'll take it. Um, Hazel Witch. So, first of all, I'm so glad to be back. It's been such a long time since I've seen y'all. That's why, you know, I had so much to say in the beginning because I had Cheers to look to at that, y'all. y'all. I had Cheers to look to at that. y'all for Cheers to that, y'all. We back. Cheers. With your water. Get, get your water. I know water. my water's get over your there. Water, somewhere. non-drinking. I know. It's over there with Kirk somewhere. But, um, for the over sexualizing with women, um, y'all, I think I made my point very clear. I felt like. It, one is permission you know when we do challenges we're, we're putting it out there for us to to be seen to be given that opportunity um, and when we're just out in the streets and we're being harassed those things aren't okay um, if somebody decides to do a challenge and they feel like it's because they had low confidence and they use that to, to bring themselves to a better place I feel like you can't tell people how to heal you can't tell people what feels good to them and what makes sense to them um, as far as the T.I. and Tiny thing, I feel like I just want to be sure that if T.I. did what he did, then we need to make sure we're understanding of all the facts. I don't want to accuse him of something so egregious, if you will, and not have everything because that's such a, a hard thing to come back from. It's it's really difficult. And I don't want to cancel somebody that doesn't deserve to be canceled. Um what did we say? The Wheeler guy. Mm-hmm. 
I, I, there's, I feel like there's nothing else to discuss with that. You know, you, you, first of all, you shouldn't put your hand on your mate in any way, shape, or form outside of like the bedroom. And if it's violent huh? like that, or the dance, yeah, to tango, you know what the fuck she meant. Nobody you like to get choked. I let mean, me, I like what I like. Let me stop. I like what I like. Where's um, the bell? Yeah. <laughs> it's raining, man. Hallelujah. It's raining, man. It's not as bad when it's for her. It, it was it. It fit. It's raining, man. It was it. It We go. We go. We go left. So anyway, you know, I don't condone domestic anyway. violence, and it's so unfortunate that this hasn't gotten the attention that it deserves because. If she were indeed a white woman and he was a black man, he would be locked under the jail and made an example of all types of fines, probably would never get to touch a football again. So I hope that he's persecuted in the fullest extent of the law. And um, yeah, no excuses for that. Um, what else did we discuss, y'all? Kiki oh, White. Oh, let me tell you. Oh, White. Kiki. I got it right here. <laughs> Kiki, I like, I, I, it's unfortunate that she uses her blackness when it's convenient and then she wants to be oppressed under the biracial tag when when it feels good to do so um why she still here i think we all know that like biracial people have been used as like agents in the black community and it's unfortunate that this is continuing this is continuing in this regard like you said from the brown paper bag test to the blue vein societies and groups and things of that nature it's so unfortunate that biracial people they they're taking this this stance or this angle just because their proximity to whiteness has always given them a privilege and a leg up um Uh, earlier in the show It's all because of blackness It's because of their blackness If they were completely white They wouldn't be having this conversation So it, it's White supremacy is a system That needs to be dismantled And it's so unfortunate That we're still having These type of conversations So Is that everything? Did I get it all, Kurt? You know, you yes. had to list It's raining, <laughs> Hallelujah She said, did I get it all? <laughs> So back to you, when, my, when it comes to my shit's in the gutter right now. Listen, when it comes to these challenges, ladies, do y'all thing. You <laughs> that know? drink is under the line. Have a, have a, have a good under time. the label. Under the line. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. Have a good time with these challenges, lady and ladies, and and let your no be a complete sentence. If you say no, the answer is no. No matter when you say no, the answer is no. And um, hopefully you have men in your life that respect that. And if you don't, you know who the creeps are. Like he said, the the best, the best oh, of the no, best no, men are no, creeps, no, no, no. and uh. If if <laughs> it just gets worse, ladies, it really does. Um, and uh, mystery is sexy. So not to say that you can't do these things because I'm all for a thong bathing suit or whatever the case is. But let them see you in person first. You know, make sure you spend some coin. Don't be keep doing this shit for free. That's no <laughs> the superintendent. T. Yes, I want you to know, sir, that you have a whole living in the <laughs> What did she say at the end? Nobody. That you're knows. a hole at the what? <laughs> She said, I want you to know you have a whore living in 2R. Oh, <laughs> listen. Nah, I'm not talking about paid. you. Now, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> you got to. <laughs> I done been called worse by better people. I don't care. Ooh. Petty. Drop a bomb on heaven. <laughs> Queen, you should not let them talk to you like that. <laughs> it's not what you call me. It's what I answer to. He's goddamn. Oh, you. Really? You just read this shit like 50 times. I didn't read it. I just looked at it. <sighs> Who we, who we got up next for their final thoughts? Of course it's me. So I feel like I put on my sexy voice and everything Kirk for y'all. Keys. We proud of you. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, We're proud of you. Kiki Wyatt. He is tired of my shit. <laughs> I'm going to try, <laughs> I'm gonna try to figure you. out why we give Kiki Wyatt not a voice. She deserves a voice, I guess. <laughs> oh, shit. But, like, she ain't done nothing since she sung with Avant. And I don't, that was, what, 2002? She was like eight, 15 when her album came out. She was that's 15. All I'm she was 15 when she did that song with Avant. So I feel like, oh wow, he that, probably this opinion here no, is like, shit. why are we even talking about this? But <laughs> out of the respect, maybe you guys are right. <laughs> <laughs> Kirk always like, y'all always disrupted my final thought. Nick, I don't, nah, that's Cohen to be mad about that. I don't got time. <laughs> they could talk. They they talk the whole time anyway. They could talk. I'm used to it. Whatever. I'll be one of my final thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga be mad. But uh, artifice. <laughs> to 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 give biracial people a voice right quick, they do have a plight. It just ain't an oppressed one. But I've heard from my biracial my biracial friends that they don't get accepted by the white people because they got that little tan in them, 
And then we come over to the black side And you don't get accepted by them either Because they got that little light in them And so they be a little blown But what they don't realize is Black people join on everybody Everybody going to get anybody it Anybody can get it If that's what your joan is Then just take it Deal with it Call it a day But everybody gets joan on about something that's And nobody's sensitive Except for y'all When you get the light skin mixed They're drinks. getting more sensitive now That's what it is Dark skin people get That's all it too, is but. Now so, it's bullying yeah. It's definitely not oppression though It's just some, a little bit of bullying You're getting inflamed uh, Biden talking about These women can uh, oh, Compete topic. with these men And vice versa Man, if y'all don't get some co-ed leagues and call it a day, if you care about the transgender people enough that they want to participate, go join the co-ed league. If everybody does it and it becomes the big cool thing, all right, cool, co-eds win. But at the end of the day, women shouldn't be competing with these men because they probably going to get dogged, and these men shouldn't be competing with these women because that's not even fair. And if like, the women won, the men going to be sick. Yeah, that yeah, too. But that's not going to happen. <laughs> exactly. Like, imagine if uh, would it, Caitlin, if Caitlin was out there running with these women <laughs> back in the day when she was Bruce, that shit. She, what, everything. what did he do? What was his? Uh, well, you, you know, know, he never chopped his dick off. <laughs> and he's allegedly still straight. What was his? Uh, yeah, but I think he does date women. He's a. I was going to ask what his activity was, but it don't even matter. Forget question. all y'all what y'all talking about. Forget that would be non binary. <laughs> A non-binary lesbian. Oh my god! To this Ti and but Tiny dude. and their sex trafficking, I think they are. I don't know what they're doing. Actually, I'm just mad. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to give it a big. I don't know it's what the they're doing. Best answer I heard all day. <laughs> <laughs> they doing something. I, I know, know before this. Doing. I know before this all came out, we knew that they were like wild in the bedroom and all of that. So they could stay being wild in the bedroom, do their thing. I don't know what's the truth and what's not the truth. If the courts figure it out, more power to them. Um. We ain't talk about Method Man and Wendy Williams. That would have been funny because whatever. No Speaking of trans, that. <laughs> that's what I was. That's why it would have been funny because somebody tried to say Wendy Williams used to be attractive back in the day. No, I said her face didn't look as. I didn't say it was ugly. Oh but, my god! But if the shoe fits, he's a Wendy Williams. I said she's attractive. still built like Buzz <laughs> Lightyear, but her oh. face didn't look as fucked up after she had that surgery. Yeah, well, somebody hit the gun. We don't need for to that. talk about them because we weren't even talking about them. <laughs> With the whole Chad Wheeler and the Me Too movement topic, and this black woman that he hit, and all the <laughs> other stuff, um, you got to target your anger and frustration at the right people. The Me Too movement can get it, but the Me Too movement is a sexual assault movement. It just wasn't no sexual assault. He just beat the crap out of her, and so. I don't know why you expecting Toronto Burke to do anything. So this my rebuttal is specifically for you. But outside of that, the NFL, I for this nigga. The, <laughs> the NFL going to do what they do. They even going to punish him and, and not let him ever play again because that's what they did to like Ray Rice. They didn't do that to, to what was my man named Kevin Hardy or something like that. But he was suspended for a long time. But they probably going to suspend him, make him do his time, maybe let him, not let him play again. But hopefully the the crime fits the time. With the way the NFL decides to investigate Because the NFL got their own rules Like stuff could be in court And the NFL will be like yeah it, They already guilty And mm-hmm. suspend them before yeah. the courts even do anything So, Or they let them play into the Or that too so Well he like, resigned he was smart Yeah because he know what's up And he knew he had to do what he had to do Black people were going to stay out there until they say I can't play no more Because they got to get that check Probably had his money stacked up <laughs> That's what I said they got to get that check They probably don't even didn't give have a to fuck. get that check They probably said we'll pay you to go away so that we can not have to make an example out of you, you know okay, what I'm saying? That's like your perspective. You, it's so many things churning in this background that you don't know. But neither here nor there. What was the last one? Women's always complaining. Oh yeah, yeah, you got the list right there. So I know. I'm looking. I'm looking. The, but the busted challenge, my it was my favorite challenge on the internet until the silhouette challenge came out. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do both? <laughs> 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 Why well, was your hand already up for the dab? No, I'm trying show. to dab you because the uh, Buster uh, Challenge is my favorite I challenge. I was about to say, this man said, did you do both? <laughs> he took it left. Because you, you, you carried me on the. I was. The my Buster bad, Challenge was my was shit. Him, but yes, we could dab. Bust it. Yeah. It's too late now, man. That's the same thing. Buster Challenge was my favorite. Then the Silhouette Challenge came out and it became my favorite for like a day, but then I had to go back to the Buster Challenge. Did you, take, way, did you take the picture? I off? really enjoyed looking at both of them because that's all I can do, anyways. Just look. So 
niggas. He sounds so defeated. Like, he does. <laughs> Especially if they did the drop do and the do. and the the push. Some of them couldn't do the drop and the push. The ones that could do the drop and the push. <laughs> the white women. I'm gonna let, let, I'm gonna let Cohen's final thoughts. Let be let him final <laughs> thoughts because I'm not gonna co-sign on his messages. Drop I and enjoy the push, these baby. challenges. I want y'all to keep over sexualizing yourselves for as long as you want to. The same way <laughs> she said. If you want to do it, go ahead and do it. I'm just saying, <laughs> when you want to be protected at the same time, it's going to be a hard argument. It's going to be a hard argument. But I am all here for the protection, and I'm all here for all these challenges that y'all want to do. So you ain't got it. You don't have an argument out of me. I'm right here for it. That's would my you, final thoughts. Would you marry him? It depends who's doing it. My girl did the busted challenge, but it didn't look okay. Busted said, challenge. I don't need to hear nothing else. <laughs> I'm gonna edit that part out. But you nope, ain't no see what it look like though. So I mean, everybody did it differently. You can do it with class too. Okay. Listen, it's possible. I might have to go like Chad Wheeler if my chick uh, do the bust. <laughs> oh <challenge>. my god! <laughs> you so still no, 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 no. You, you still? <laughs> no. Shout out to the shout out to the Lotus Real Project. Quick. She did a classy bust challenge. Can I tell you what will get? It was very classy. I saw, I saw her bust. Can challenge. I tell you yeah, what will get? It was like it was classy. Yeah. Can that, I tell you what it gets your girl left or Chad Williams right quick? Shorty that uh, went smack at LeBron at the courtside seats. I don't know why course we didn't I talk care. about that. How course you gonna I be care. courtside and spaz on LeBron in defense of your husband? If that nigga felt like he needed to defend himself, he would have. How dare you? Well, you yeah, just know who wears the pants that. in that house. How dare you? I don't condone that. And the internet is eating her alive. They like she's not twenty five. She, she looks thirty five. She looks this. They're they're not giving her no rest. I don't know who she thought she was. The arrogance of that white woman. She's white. <laughs> That's who she thought she was. The arrogance of that white. That I'm LeBron white and I'm right. That's James. the real thing. <laughs> I'm LeBron James. Who are you? Bitch. No, no. You're a fucking nigga. LeBron. She ain't say that. James. I'm just saying she that might as well. She might that was her tone. That was when she was insinuating. That was her tone. Don't talk to my husband I, like that. Said, you're still just a nigger. She I don't said, care if you she said I'll James. fuck you up. You said to a 6'10 But I feel like <laughs> Hey you gotta You said to the, no, one of the, the greatest You also gotta put in perspective That more than likely Le- LeBron deals with people On the sidelines all the time He didn't time. start that yeah. More than likely Your husband said something to him And he said something back And you was mad her, at the comeback What did she do wrong More than likely He probably said I whip all your ass He's like Don't talk to my oh, husband like that. He probably he said Yo I'll fuck your bitch <laughs> That's Listen. probably really what it was Where's Ron Artest That's what I would've said Get his shit off Oh he caught her Big bitches yeah, and stuff after yeah, it was over though. I didn't, I didn't read the lips. He I was, was like, like "Where's Ron Artest?" Because that after, man, after he she ain't stood up, he said, "Man, if you don't sit your ass down, shut up, bitch." <laughs> I was like, hey, a, yeah. "You know that's why these fans tripping because Ron Artest is gone." <laughs> Listen, I was gonna say Ron Artest would never. Ron, she ho, 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 what? Listen, Wait, she wanted the dingo. Let's let's get to my final thoughts. That's it. Yeah, go ahead, Cohen. Hold Look, on. Uh, clap for me. When it you comes to Joe Biden and his. And his uh, executive orders. That's why you went first. Mm-hmm. Now I just want to get the serious you know you things the out of the way. The serious things out of the way. Got the serious things out of the way. Um, I don't. How many buttons you gonna push? Um, Give I don't, me first, man. I don't believe um, transgenders should compete in sports on an equal playing field because testosterone is a big deal when it comes to sports that's why women's basketball is separated volleyball wrestling all of these sports are separated male to female for a reason but i do think it's a solution in in terms of um how they're judged when they compete or possibly separate or co-ed leagues um i'm for the solution uh to the problem but i think it's a solution for it Uh, when it comes to women being over sexualized dealing with challenges I'm really torn on this because I do enjoy a good challenge. I really enjoy the busted challenge. Um, I enjoy the silhouette challenge, but I do realize that it's very sexual. Like when you saying bust it, it's one thing I'm thinking when you saying what you busting it. Busting it. You're gonna bu- you're busting it wide open. I thought you meant like bust your ass and fall. No, 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 what? no, no. Who would think that? What? Is that what you thought when you heard busting challenge? No. Nah. Okay, I, you just, I thought you were being facetious. <laughs> like, so my mind automatically has to go right, to a certain real, place. I don't know how to use TikTok. No, no. Right. My mind automatically has to <laughs> go to a certain place <laughs> when you say bust it. And then you can't come back and say I feel over sexualized because you made me imagine your pussy when you were talking about the busted. You child. told me to bust it. You told, yeah. So 
That's you what on that joint. I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. But I'm not busting your calf muscle. It's the only one thing I'm busting. So you got to take the good with the bad. If you want to be sexually liberated, you want to um, own your sexuality. You want to display it in the way you want to display it. And, and you know, you you do have the agency to say this is how I want to display it, and this is how I not want to display it. You want to say that it does not translate from the internet to the real world. For the the most high-minded idealist man, that works. We have the ability to discern internet versus real life versus what we can say and do in internet comments versus real life. But you have to understand if you do go down that road, there's a segment of men in this population that do not do that and cannot do that and you're opening no and you're opening yourself up to that so you have to take the good with the bad the clout the numbers the confidence the energy that you get positively there's going to be an equal uh maybe not equal but you're going to get a negative reaction that comes to that as well so just be prepared for that um what else we talked about yeah. um when it comes to ti and tiny i think a lot of people that dealt with ti and tiny over the years are experiencing buyer's remorse wait, wait, a, minute, wait a minute we've been here two hours we've been here two hours this is bound to happen shit, so, like it's been longer than that yeah, right, so so i think a lot of these folks are having buyer's remorse they participate in these activities willingly but then they woke up the next day like, damn. I still ain't got no money. I, I, I really got tossed. I tossed, flipped, and sent home. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to realize if you playing games of rich people, you got to play rich people games. If you don't got no money playing rich people games, Take your you, broke you, ass get, you get played. They send you home when the game is over. So don't have buyer's remorse when you get sent home when the game is over. Kiki, who Kiki White? Um, I thought she was representing for Trip Simpson and the biracial community. I'm not biracial. But says who? Um, for the viewers, you know, he's. Oh, half, I don't know. He's I don't half, know nobody. <laughs> he's half salmon. He was raised by salmon. He was adopted. <laughs> um, by salmon. That's why he doesn't eat salmon now. That would be uh, Actually, cannibalism. Oh, that's, that's that's gross. Salmon in that salmon. Uh, cannibalism. <laughs> that's like soil and green. It's people. You eating your own people. <laughs> <laughs> um, Kiki Wyatt. Fuck. <laughs> Kiki Wyatt. Um, is suffering from some type of Sam mental disorder. distress, equating. The plight of biracial people to all black people. Now, I will acknowledge that biracial people do have a unique, you know, issue in America because you want to identify with both, but America will not allow you to identify with both. You, you have like. a white mom, you think, why don't I have the same privilege as my white mother? You can't. I have a white father. Why can't I have the same privileges of my white father? You can't. America does not work that way So they do go through Mental anguish They do go through issues Because white society Will not accept them Black society Except. It's just gonna make fun of you It ain't It ain't fucked up They just Just gonna make fun of you Like Nigga you You a nigga You, better off than you a nigga By the end of the day You like but, you Yeah but they, But It drop. comes from a real place we have a lineage of lighter skinned black people being in more proximity, closer proximity to power and being treated better when it comes to the paper bag test, house Negro versus field Negro, um, the uh, uh, boule versus regular black people, the um, uh, uh, mulattoes. Uh, having a pseudo ruling class Over black people It is a history in America That lighter skinned people Being closer to white people Have more power So for them to say that they are oppressed It's almost It's like the opposite You have you have more You have more cachet And you get treated differently Because 
black people understand you do have more cachet even still in terms of how black men are attracted to black women it's still a thing in the black community that the red bone yellow bone light skin that is valued higher than the chocolate woman that's a fact. and that's still a thing that we're dealing with in 2021 so she's extremely off base if she was talking about that piece yeah, I could get I with her But she Is extremely off base Tone deaf With that Well maybe she's on base Clear your cash Nah She's, she's like, off Way off base Free base Clear oh your cash <laughs> She look a little cracked You need like a drum Like the boom boom Cash That's what you need Definitely Was that it y'all I think that was it yeah. Or did I miss one I feel like I missed one Clear your cash uh, Nah uh, uh, Biden Biracial T.I. Yeah, T.I. Challenges. Yeah, you got Challenges. Oh, man. I'm on a roll. Me too, Chad Wheeler. Oh, man. Fry him. Like, he should be fried. Like, I don't understand why he's not fried. But then I do understand because it's a black man that assaulted a black woman. You're a white man. And a white man that assaulted a black woman. And we know the history. And we in America. Complexion for protection. We know we the America. vibes. We in America. Donations. <laughs> you may not bring your white wife. <laughs> those, are my, <laughs> those are my final thoughts. Woo! Wow. February 2021. New beanies. <laughs> Fluorescent. All 2020. Donations. <laughs> Donations. Donations. I beg your pardon. Donations. Yes. <laughs> Sister, $10? <laughs> I beg your pardon. Nah, um, I'm gonna keep this real quick. Let's start with Ti. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, as you know, I'm very critical of Ti. Ti is a lot of things, but one thing he's not is expeditious. He's a drug dealer, and one thing he's most certainly not <laughs> is a motherfucking pimp. <laughs> that nigga wasn't trafficking nothing. If anything. He might have been tricking. Leave that man alone. Leave that man alone, man. Consensual. Y'all got the man out the house, beard looking crazy. In the woods. Right. <laughs> With I the rubber band twist. I, I don't know what the fuck you got going on there. Except some drugs. <laughs> that was some corny shit, right? Egregious. So, yeah, T.I. Yeah, T.I. Yeah, these egregious evil. allocations. <laughs> Malicious. T.I. is not a pimp. Allocations, These allegations, allegations. are exponentially <laughs> engrossed in outrageous, outlandish. alleviated, <laughs> exasperated, in <laughs> evil activity. <laughs> it's threats. It's all a threat. I see. I see, son. Oh, <laughs> hey, all right, all right, by the way, so hold, hold on, on, hold on, Roos's, real quick. The name is Falcorn Leghorn. Falcorn Leghorn. <laughs> That's the Roos's name. I don't mean to interrupt your final thoughts, but I do want to say that when he said that he would treat a woman different than a threat, hey, <laughs> I think it was shit. a it was a threat. That was a threat in and of itself. It was basically like, I will kill you. You remember them gun charges I got back in the day? I will kill you. <laughs> I'd have been yeah. to prison this because time. you are a threat at no, this moment. I don't think he was in the prison. <laughs> That. No, he was in prison in general. Oh, so he's yeah. not scared to go back. Yeah. The, the gist. I know plenty of ho ass niggas that went to prison. He's definitely scared to go back. He's de- he ain't trying to be in there. He said his masters just like Wayne. I see, I see. Go back. I see. But you can go ahead. So you don't like southern back. accents? No, I do. I just I just can't stand T.I. <laughs> <laughs> Expeditious. I just can't. I'm sorry. But I think the man's innocent. So leave that nigga alone, man. Okay. Let that nigga just keep reading the dictionary and, you know. How you feel about Kiki? Kiki Wyatt, um, I think Kiki Wyatt's delusional. I think she's on something. I to be she honest was a with you, I think she's on something. I think that for someone to even biracial people are the are, are the biggest uh, tricksters on the planet. They play both sides, and when they don't get their way, they whine talking about they being oppressed. No, you didn't get your way because people saw through your little bullshit. This time, all of them. Not all of them. I have a biracial sister, actually. So how did you navigate Because you're this? biracial. No, I'm not biracial. My <clears throat> sister, my dad, we don't even got to get into that. But she's biracial. And as are you. No, I'm not. <laughs> it's like, not good. 
Oh, he's, he's getting upset. He's getting upset, I'm not like, getting those upset. Life, like those mixed people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting upset. I'm not getting upset. <laughs> They're oppressed. <laughs> I'm not getting upset. You, 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 I don't think that. I don't think that. You're being oppressed right now. I think. I think all. Are you oppressed right now? No. I think all black people are oppressed And I think biracial people just can't deal with it So they act like whole ass niggas That white side coming through Like oh my god I'm being oppressed And they start hey, <laughs> going, going crazy like him and him Okay mom I'm gonna kill you Put you in the dryer Beat you with a tire They can't handle it Bars. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now But nah Nah like I said, yo, the pressures of white supremacy hit people differently, and I think that Kiki Wyatt is, um, uh, her yeah, shit is dang. just coming out in a bad way. I, I think that she should just be quiet, <laughs> and I think that she shouldn't speak anymore on this topic because clearly, what, what's going on? He's answering to the music. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> He's awake. <laughs> right. Damn, this is what I gotta do to stay up with any final thoughts. <laughs> All right, um, what's next? Uh, get Wheeler. your list out. Get your list. Wheeler. Wheeler. Chad Wheeler. Give him the fucking chair. Give him the fucking chair. And um, <laughs> kill that nigga. Um, put Toronto Burke on the chair with him. Ooh, Ooh. KRS two. Get the chair. Yes. Ooh. Even though she's sexual assault, you don't even care. <laughs> you think somebody Bars. really raped her? Believe black Biden. This guy. Biden. <laughs> this is gonna have to get edited. That's gonna have to get edited. No, 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 no. This is a question to the panel. No, no, no. F- forget about me right now. I'm gonna start with you. Do you think? Do you think Toronto Burke was raped? Yes. If she said she wasn't, yes. By a sober person. I mean, she said that she doesn't matter. Yes. Because rape isn't about how attractive you are. It's about control and power. Mm-hmm. So don't be ignorant. Don't do that. That's not fair. That's not fair. God, now, even the weakest nigga. Now we got two feminists on the goddamn panel. No, nobody's nobody's going by that down that road with you. Nobody, buddy. you can <laughs> down that hill alone. <laughs> you down that mother hill alone. I don't think she was raped. Nobody. It doesn't matter that's, how attractive you are. That's okay you for are. your opinion. Was a nigga convicted? Did somebody get convicted? Of, if somebody got convicted of a crime, I stand. That's not I don't okay know. either. Have you looked into that? You might. That's know. not okay either. All right. Well, I got editing control, so if I'm wrong. <laughs> but <laughs> even I'll still, matter of fact, now that I think about yeah, it, now that I think out. about it, I know uh, I have. A but, but if I'm right, I'm leaving it. <laughs> I have a friend who runs this, a, a sexual assault program who her her uh, accusers aren't. Um, yeah, because a lot of women either. don't come forward. Yeah, yeah so like either like, way, that don't even that don't even matter. All right, man. Well, Biden, stay out of dark alleys. <laughs> Let me stop. Okay. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Biden, Biden is like, yo. So listen, first off, man, I like to say this: we gotta have the last five minutes. This show is not gonna exist. There's I know per it. usual. <laughs> No, anytime the whiskey comes out, the Trip show Simpson gets edited. Does not speak for anyone else on this show except yes, for his own. His thoughts and opinions are, are his own. Y'all really think she got raped? Damn, related to that <laughs> neon beanie. Reflect. Y'all really think she got raped? Not reflect any other host. Of I, the think show. That I think that. I, I don't, I don't believe. Her. I think she's a liar. I, I think all the work that she does is in vain because I think she is an agent for white supremacy and I think she's sitting here to attack black men specifically. If when she, she was asked she why she never says anything about white women, white men, her answer was uh, I'm not here to do that. So bitch, what you here to do? Protect black women or what? Fuck that bitch. I said it. I'm not editing that part out. I, I might do the. I guarantee she, you're gonna edit it out. I will not. I, I will not. I don't give a fuck. I don't That's give a okay. fuck about Toronto Burke. You don't got like her. Toronto Burke's the enemy of black men. Fuck that bitch. Raped, fuck that bitch. I don't care. Assaulted. Okay. At the yeah. very least. Somebody about- probably looked at her wrong. She was like, "Oh, you raped me." The Biden thing. <laughs> as far as Biden goes, um, I just want all you people that voted for Biden. I hope you guys can look at yourselves in the mirror. <laughs> they can. They happy this. Joe month. Biden is spit in the face. Can I say that? You can say that. Has spit in the face. <laughs> <laughs> He's freaky. <laughs> Joe Biden has spit in black people's faces the moment he took office. Um, how do you give this man 80, 87% of your vote and this nigga come... He's two weeks in and he's what with what, 50 executive orders and none of them have to do with black people. Or student loans. 
Right. No, not yet. None of them have to do with black people. None of them. But niggas in wigs can go to the WNBA. Fuck Joe Biden. Next topic. What's the next topic? That was it. No, it's got to be something else. I'm, you had Biden, T.I., Kiki, the Busted Challenge. Oh. Yes, women, yes. You are over-sexualizing yes, yourself. I, I was forgetting something. The most important one. <laughs> women, you, yes, you are over-sexualizing yourself. And guess what? If the shoe fits and you bought the motherfucker, you might as well wear it. When a woman's fed up, they over-sexualize themselves. When a woman's fed up, yes, they do oversexualize the themselves. Fits they oversexualize themselves and then they blame everyone else when the sex comes. Oh my gosh. So look, uh, <laughs> that was another terrible one. That was terrible. Straight, if this is your first time listening to Straight Talk No Chase, um, don't fuck with Trip Simpson. <laughs> It's like nah. <laughs> Listen, uh, this show this show has been fueled by uh Añejo Tequila and uh Single Malt Scotch and Straight Talk and No Fox Chase News. Uh, delineates that we are taking straight shots with no chase besides our illustrious co-host uh Hazel Vixens. She's high of life. Yeah. That is a very that is a She's better than people. <laughs> she don't even drink on a show oh, about drinking. Honestly, man, this she's drunk a- from bad pollution from the sun, though. She, oh, yeah. She's a sun baby, but in DC, you don't get no pure sun, so she's tainted too. The white man's son, <laughs> witch hazel. <laughs> That's witch hazel son. <laughs> that sunflower haze. <laughs> witch flower haze. Listen. But honestly, man, it's been a great episode. Um, having a great time. Glad I'm to be excited. back in business. I'm excited. It's raining, man. That's what I'm excited about. I, she's a woman, so we I, we have to do something to her. No, I, you said do that after he said he was excited. He said it's ready to bend. She said she was excited. <laughs> oh I my gosh, nothing. she didn't say anything. There got to be a button for women. What song that. can we play? She said she was excited, bro. I ain't say I was I'm excited. excited. About no, I was talking about him. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we're, I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> we know. <laughs> See y'all niggas next week. Yo, for <laughs> myself. Y'all. Y'all. Crosby Digital. Who the fuck is Crosby Digital? Mm. It's yeah. Crosby Digital. Bill Crosby. Witch Hazel. <laughs> Kirk Lane Keys. Hey, we gotta start <laughs> Breakfast Club in this nigga. At one point, didn't he say everybody's? In? Oh no, it was the opposite. They said they own. Yeah, we want to start saying our own. Shout out to Vegan Steven. I'm about to say Vegan Steven. We oh, we got two vegans in the house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No meat. Sleepy Sam. <laughs> Sleepy Sam. <laughs> oh, Sam. Yeah, Sleepy Sam. Sam Biden. <laughs> nah, fucking Bernie. That was sitting with the gloves. Was it Bernie? Yeah, Bernie. <laughs> That's him. Sam Sanders. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, Sam Sanders. All right, we out of here, man. Cut. Thank you. Thank you.